100. Welcome to Keep It 100, Oklahoma High School Sports on this Sunday. Sunday. Evening, afternoon. Sunday afternoon. Folks, glad you could join us. Just want to let you know, it's Labor Day weekend. I know we've all worked hard. Yes. We get to come and talk a little, a little bit of high school football. On a little this bit Sunday. of college, too. A little bit of college. Okay. You go hit you with a little bit of college with mm-hmm. your little OU OSU. Mm-hmm. Tulsa got yeah. beat. Sorry. Uh, Tough law for Tulsa, but I tell you, we have some great high school games, and I just tell you, it keeps heating up each week. Man, yep. uh, we got a couple special guests today. Yep. We got uh, Cedric from uh, Norman. Uh, I'm sorry, not Norman, but Eben North, Eben North. Uh, the outstanding receiver for them, Cedric uh, uh, Frazier, Frazier, and then you're going to have the outstanding sophomore quarterback. And that's what we're doing, folks. As you can see, three weeks in a <laughs> row, we got them kids from 918 kind of joining the 405, and that's what we do. Of keep it 100 because when you're good, people want to join in. And yeah. that's what I'm talking about. That's keeping it what? 100. 100. Keeping it 100. But, folks, uh, before we get started, man, uh, how you guys doing so far on your uh, holiday weekend? How you doing, E? Doing good, doing good. Just got back from my grandparents' house, had some hot dogs, hamburgers, okay. took, took me a little nap, and then uh, oh, headed yeah. over here. So okay. you, you, you know, know how that it goes. is when the grandparents cook for you. Hey, you, you get, get real sleepy. Yeah. 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 got to go, yeah. man. That's, that's, like th- good. that's like Thanksgiving. I yeah. love Thanksgiving. Yeah, we know. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> I slimmed down. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That's why I wear this black. The black baby looks skinny. Woo-wee. Yeah. My wife said, baby, you look good in that black. I said, baby, thank you. They say black of the berry sweet it's of the juice. Black of the berry sweet of <laughs> juice. I'm like wine. I get better at age. I'm 50 and I look like about 29. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> but folks, like I said, I can't wait to get this show started. We had some great games last week. Mm-hmm. Uh, some great good matchups and it's going to keep getting better and better this week. Uh, I'm kind of excited about having the must up. Uh, I can't even talk. The Muskogee quarterback yeah. on because he is one of the best QBs Stud. in the state. Left-handed guy. Lefty. The ball. Hey, always hey, in his right mind. Hey, always in his right mind. But, hey, I tell you, though, man, about this young man, man, he's real humble. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think in the next two years he's going to have many offers. And, and guess what? He's been on Keeper 100. And we're going to be saying, man, we interviewed that young man when he goes off to a Texas or a Baylor or wherever mm-hmm. he decides to go. See, I didn't mention no Oklahoma school. But, see, that's what we do. What's that? We interview a lot of these guys mm-hmm. or ladies. Who are flying under the radar. Flying under the radar. Yeah, like that, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we give them the recognition and exposure that they earned and deserve. They deserve that because right. sometimes, man, people might not notice, man, he's at Muskogee. They had a losing season. But now they got it rocking and rolling, sitting mm-hmm. at 2-0. 2-0, and and they're going to jump on it. They ain't got to get on the turn. So they, they they won as many games as they uh, did last year yes, already. Sir. Yes, sir. First yes, sir. Games, bang, bang. And, you know, and, and Muskogee was a powerhouse back in the early uh, 80s and 90s, man. Mm-hmm. Them and men was here used to battle it out for a state yeah. championship. And I guess right now they got a new coach and he's trying to change things around change over it up. there. But that's what you do though, man. That's what you want. You go get a team that you can put together and I'm telling you, they're doing great things. They just opened up the new stadium mm-hmm. and guess what? What's that? He threw the first touchdown in that. Nice. I think he had over 300 some yards. Oh, But we'll wow. let him talk about that when he get on the show. I ain't going to steal his thunder or his funk. We're going to yeah. have fun on this show. Right there, right, Big E? That's man, right. Well, that's well right. let's get going. Let's get e, going. tell us yeah. about uh, OU eating booty. <laughs> well, <laughs> you got to post that picture. Yeah, now. So yeah, everybody I'll, know what I'll we're be, talking yeah, about. Yeah, I'll post that picture in the. Uh, you'll see it in the podcast. But um, yeah, I mean, it was a great game. I mean, it was. Um, where the hell did bubbles come from? That's what we do, folks. We have fun <laughs> over here. Oh, we're, we're, we're getting bubbly. <laughs> we're getting bubbly up in here. One more time. <laughs> Because Ivy, no, that ain't oh, a good one. Wow, I want, wow. I want when Ivy watched the show, she that's my papa. Yeah. She can see her bubbles. This is what Cute happens. Ivy. When you got grandkids, yeah. I better stay on the strip because you got on to me. Yeah. When you have grandkids, you get these nice little toys. I didn't have this growing up on right. 420 is boring. Guess what we used to do? We used to do uh, dishwashing soap. Dishwashing soap. soap. This is yeah. the real stuff see? right here. See, you don't know that struggle. Either. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but, here we go. Get back to the script. Any, anyway, back back to OU. I mean, they look pretty good. I mean, first game uh, under Brent Venables, and uh, you know they look they look really good. Uh, also, there are some things that they need to clean up. Obviously, you know, kind of anything that was thrown between that seven to nine yard yeah, uh, range. You know, they kind of let those slip by. But uh, I know that they'll get that cleaned up. Yeah. Before uh, conference play starts, but um, yeah, it was a really good game. Uh, I wasn't able to watch all of it. I was at work, so I was busy um, doing what I do over there at Dick Sporting Goods, selling shoes and stocking shelves and all that good stuff. So stocking no. shelves, yeah, we'll stock like, shelves. So we got two shelf stockers. Yeah. We, we can't make those kind of comments no more because we're going to be professional guys over this show now. I, I was but just saying I stock shelves. That's what that's, I do. That's, that's good. That's what I do. I, I, I need some new shoes. Dude. I'm a professional. Stalker. Yeah, at your, exactly. At your, at your favorite store. It's my profession. Uh, oh, Dicks? Yeah. No, nah, mm-hmm. I like Academy better. Oh, okay. Man, that's okay. 
a lot of the customers that come in there say that too. But yeah. anyways, too they look yeah they <laughs> they uh they look pretty good. Um, Dylan Gabriel did his thing. Um, you know Reggie Grimes, the defensive end, defensive uh, lineman. He uh had a heck of a game. Had a few tackles for loss. Had a forced fumble. Had a had a sack. Two two sacks. Two and a half sacks. Something like that. Okay. And then uh, Brayden Willis, the tight end. Uh, you know, I was just waiting for him to break out. Is that number nine? Uh, number nine yeah, on the he offense. Had a good game. Yeah, he blocked good. He? He yeah, blocked block good. good. I mean, you saw him on that touchdown run from Gavin Freeman. Shout out to the homegrown the kid, on. Gavin walk Freeman. Walk on. That's what walk I'm doing. Had D one offers and decided to bet on himself and walk on. <laughs> At the University of Oklahoma, and you know, uh, in his first game, first touch, his first touch, he takes it to the house. Yeah. So he, I mean, he's batting a thousand. You know, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, uh, I was really fun to watch. Uh, watching a guy that you know we kind of touched on a little bit in our coverage of high school sports mm-hmm. do his thing at uh, at OU. So um, yeah, it was a great game, and I'm pretty excited going forward. Uh, we got Kent State next week, probably uh, the last of our, I don't know, those, practices. Yeah, practices, <laughs> scrimmages. So, uh, you know, I'll be looking forward to that. And I entered a ticket giveaway, so hopefully I win that and I'll okay. be able to be there Saturday. We'll see, though. Hey, we'll I see. got a question, though, about yeah. you know, you know, I sat and watched the game with a buddy. He came and watched the game. You know, he's a Texas fan, but he didn't think OU looked that good. And, you know, I think people get upset if OU's not putting up 60, 70 points on a team like that. But, as you got to realize, that's Gabriel's first time as a starter, first mm-hmm. time in that, in that environment. Not saying because the guy's already played good college ball, but I tell you, he did some good things, though, man. The guy's quicker than what I thought he was. Uh, he's tougher. I mean, he, he ain't scared to run that ball. But I, I tell you, though, not only did you know you have a bunch of freshmen, you had the kid out of uh, Booker T. Washington, Gentry. Gentry, uh, yep. He got an interception. Got an interception. But, yep. I mean, uh, Venables is going to get his guys, man. I'm going to give a shout-out to Venables, to yes. all you short guys out there. Man, look at OU because uh, all these cars want these guys at 6'2", 6'3", 6'4". And sometimes those guys, when you pan out, you can touch the field, you can get on the depth chart. Right. You got a guy that's a walk-on from Heritage Hall. Got there, and I mean, I'm not saying that kid's very big. I think he's no, probably no taller than five eight, five nine. Yeah, he's not but, very big. But I'm just saying, Venables give these guys a chance that a lot of other college other colleges won't because because a guy that's small doesn't mean he can't play football. Right. He might help you in different ways. He might not be that big down third down back, but he might be able to help you. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, like I said, with that little reverse or help you on kickoff team, kickoff return team, so you ain't got yep. to put your starters out there. So you short guys don't give up, man. I mean, the guy like that that had the touchdown yesterday. It gives everybody hope. So mm-hmm. I, I give a shout out to Venom's. I know you're probably not going to watch this show if somebody does. Yeah, he will. Um, <laughs> hey, man, I, I appreciate what you're doing for the for the, for the Well, young. he can, he can relate a lot to that because he himself was a walk on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And he proved to be uh, an outstanding player, and then then turned that into being an outstanding coach. Yeah. And he he sees guys for their talent and what they bring, and not their potential. Yes. That's big time, Absolutely. though, because, like I said, I mean, I just wanted to shoot that. But, you know, uh, I know OSU got the win. I know uh, RT's, he, you know, we get on our little group chat. And, you know, RT <laughs> gets on there talking about, look at this guy. You know, yeah. the Cobb, is, Cobb, is Cobb the linebacker? Yes, yeah. yes, Macy yeah. Cobb out of Utah, yeah, yeah, 11 yeah, every, tackles. Yeah, and I tell you, uh, Spencer Spencer looked really good, man. He I mean, had 406 yards, six yeah. touchdowns. I mean, they're kind of letting him do his thing. You know, I talked to, you know, uh, uh, you know Coach Jones, you know, coach against him in high school, and he said, man, you know, uh, Spencer looked like he was when he's a, in, in high school. Yeah, and so when when I think sometimes when somebody handcuffed, you don't get to show your things. But mm-hmm. uh, the other night, Spencer got to show his things. That you know uh, they're going to be salty. I think the only thing they're probably kind of missing is one big time receiver because you know they've always kind of had that big time receiver you can go to from a black man to a right. Man. You know I don't think they have. I think Presley's a good receiver, right? Uh, but he's not just that big guy. You know he's probably sitting about five eleven, maybe mm-hmm. six foot. If it, if he's even that big, so I think OSU's going to be a, they're going to be in the running for a Big Twelve championship. Texas is going to be there. Um, you know, you got OU, uh, you got Baylor. Everybody got Baylor favorite, but you can't count out K- uh, Kansas State. Uh, even Kansas, big shout out to Deuce. You know, uh, man, wrong young man from here from Moore, high Oklahoma, shot. Uh, high shot. Um, yeah, you know, playing against him in Little League football, man, it's good to see some of these guys is doing mm-hmm. things. Uh, Dax Byers from North Texas uh, got a chance to get in, get in the game. He played. Uh, they got the win over UTEP. I think they got beat up on yesterday, but to see some of these guys from the from the local four hundred five nine one eight, you know. Speaking just, of that, Kendall Daniels, Kendall, yeah, true freshman, yeah, had, had eleven game. tackles and an interception. Yeah. That's big time. That's nice. That's nice. 
But you know, you guys keep chopping wood and doing the things they got to do. You know, JD heads over there at uh, over at North Texas too. So hopefully he can get a chance to get in the game and, yeah. and show what he can do. I think he's still one of the top notch quarterbacks that came out. Uh, he lived in Oklahoma, went to Jones, and finished his uh, senior year up in Houston. So, guys, there's great athletes that mm-hmm. come out of here. You know, me and Jones kind of talked about that this morning. It's like, man, Oklahoma got some players, man, you know. I tell you, uh, you know, you can see that with the high school, though. You know, I, I got to give a little shout-out to the young man from Carl Albert, uh, Xavier. Uh, uh, Xavier. Robinson. Xavier yeah. Rob, X Rob. Uh, X Rob. Junior. I mean, I mean, junior running back. He looked like a freight train coming down there. Mm-hmm. Uh, for, uh, you know, nothing to do with my bombers, man. But you guys, I was scared to tackle. So, this week at practice. Coach Hall, tackle. Tackle. <laughs> tackle. Well, that, it reminded me of, uh, you know, a little bit, and this isn't a knock to anyone. This is just me keeping it 100. 100. It was like tackle the man with the ball. It was the uh, Robinson and Irvin show. Yeah, yeah. I mean, run right and run left. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, it, that, it, that, it that was it. it. If, I mean, if, if Irvin wasn't, DJ wasn't the one running it, it was X Rob. Yeah. I mean, um, you know, um, pretty much basic offense. I mean, I. I kind of got on, uh, you know, me with City's coordinator, and that's what we do, folks. We keep it 100. We're not trying to hurt nobody's feelings. We're just keeping it real because mm-hmm. that's what we do. But I said, man, can we not blitz that guy? Can we not? Can we not try to slow that guy in the backfield for 25 plays in a row? They ran the same kid, and they took him out and put in the Davis kid, which that kid's balling Kane out. Kane Davis, man. nice. Hey, that kid's balling out, man. Somebody sent me a little, uh, little text this morning, a little tweet this morning about him. I gave him his love, man. Mm-hmm. The kid played a great game. He's as, a sophomore. He's a sophomore, big size kid. At his defensive end and at the running back, you know mm-hmm. he's not no ex Rob. But you know the funny thing is though, man, I'm gonna keep it real though. Mm-hmm. Think about it though. And this is hey, this ain't no notch. We keep it real. Mm-hmm. Think about it, if Carl Albert didn't have the crazy or Faust, they'd be in trouble. Or uh, ex Rob didn't move in, man, they'd be in trouble. Yeah, because when you think about it, in the last few years, you had ex Rob move in, you had uh, Caleb Cornell the tight end move in, you had Reed move in, you had Cash move in. Uh, and I didn't get to see the one young man from Star Spencer. That's yeah. I don't know good. much about you talking about James Reed. Yeah, uh, I, didn't I get don't to know. See him. I wanted. I mean, that's one of the things I wanted to see. I wanted to see him, man. I wanted to uh, see you know see his game. You know, everybody kind of talked about how good he was at Star Spencer. And I didn't think the young man got an offer, but I didn't see him play one snap. So I hope he's okay and he's not hurt. I uh, hope he can get back on the field because they got a tough game this week uh, coming in with you know Muskogee coming to town. Muskogee, yeah. Uh, I mean, Muskogee got some big kids. So, but I know we're kind of stealing each you know, oh, yeah. off script. So let me get back to E. I'm oh, sorry. No, you're all good. So uh, you know, a while ago you had mentioned you know how uh, OU they weren't uh, or like how fans might be a little upset because the score wasn't as high as yes, they would sir, wish. Yes, but sir. you got to think it's week one. You don't want to go out there and show everybody your whole right, playbook right. you know you kind of want to keep a pretty vanilla yes, offense yes, and sir. i think they do that next week as well i mean why open up the playbook against a team where you probably won't need to open it up very much oh, so just keep State. it pretty yeah just just keep it pretty simple and mm-hmm. uh stick to the basics and then once you play teams like baylor kansas state oklahoma state texas yeah you know then you start opening up that playbook so you know uh it's good to see uh the young man from um um is a uh, running back number twenty four? Uh, uh, Marcus Major Marcus from, uh, from John, is it John Marshall Millwood. I think it's Millwood. Millwood. It's Millwood. good to see him back on the on the on the uh, field. You know, doing his yeah. thing. I know he had ran into I think a little bit of academic uh, eligible uh, with grades, but I, I yeah. think he got it fixed, and uh, it's good to see him back on the on, on the on the uh, field. Uh, I don't know who the backup quarterback is for OU. So uh, it's Davis Bevel. It's a transfer out of uh, Pitt. Okay. 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 So. So, I mean, yeah. it's good to see him get some snaps, too. But I'll yeah. tell you, uh, I think Gabriel looked pretty good, man. You know, I'll tell you, he's a little bit of a version of uh, – a better version of Josh Heupel. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I really do believe that, not knock on Heupel, because, you know, he won the Heisman and all that. So that nah, he's way you. better than Heupel. <laughs> I don't think Heupel ever won the Heisman. He won OU a national championship, oh, maybe, but he didn't. He oh, never he, won the Heisman. Oh, no, you know what? He got beat, and that's when Torrance Marshall went to uh, – uh, that old quarterback from Florida State, that old man is like 80 playing quarterback for him. Uh, so you don't know about that. He's yeah. before your time. He, he had left baseball and came he back. He came back, yeah. yeah. Uh, but he, for USC, you know, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't know what it was, but I know he. I know they was at the coin toss and Torrance Marshall said, I'm here to get my man's Heisman. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's what we do over here. We keep it 100. We go way <laughs> back before some of y'all was even born. <laughs> yeah. But, but no, it, like I said, I think oh, you look pretty good, though. I really yeah. do. I think they did. I think yeah. – uh, uh, some of the state schools, or you know, Oklahoma State, I think they they, they showed that hey, they can play with anybody. Uh, Tulsa lose a tough game, man. I think it was the Wyoming. Yeah, Wyoming. Oh, that's tough, man. That's tough. Didn't know? that game head into overtime? It went to overtime. Yeah. It did. I think it was it three overtimes. Mm-hmm. 
don't know. But uh, I mean, I'm gonna give a shout out to Jackson State. You know, Deion Sanders, what he's doing with Jackson State, man, oh, he's, yeah. he got that program rocking and rolling. So uh, yeah, he you know, does. We're talking about college, but you know, uh, Ohio State last night. I got to watch my son's a big Ohio State fan. Being Notre watch Dame, the, watch Notre Dame. But I just tell you, man, Ohio State ain't the same, man. It's gonna be hard for them to try to get back there. You know, Florida with a big time win last. Yeah, night. Yeah, Flor- Flor- I think um, Florida's gonna shock a lot of teams yeah, this year. Yeah, uh, they got a great quarterback. I, I, I like what they did. Uh, uh, beating uh, Utah, uh, Utah State, yeah. uh, Utah. Utah, 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 Utah got a great quarterback too, man. A kid can yeah. he can sling the ball in and run the ball. So I tell you, college football was exciting, man. It was fun to sit on the couch. We got up that morning, took Zoe to a camp. A uh, guy out of uh, uh, Irv. Carl Irving, out of Carl Albert, uh, he teaches. Uh, he's over at uh, yeah, Utah's Irv. assistant coach. We went to his camp uh, Saturday morning. It's from like 9 to 11.30. I was ready to get home. My wife wanted to stop at Target. She wanted to stop here. She wanted to stop there. But we got the things done. We got a chance to, you know, watch college football all day. And it was exciting to sit on the couch. And so it's hard, man, when you got that many games. Right. You're trying to watch them all. Right. I'm I'm flipping here. And then I I was trying to – Deshaun wanted to watch the Notre Dame game and the uh, Ohio State. And I wanted to watch the Florida and uh, Utah game. So finally we turned it on that game. It turned out to be a great game. But then I, I got up, you know. I took me a little nap, a couple of hour naps, and got up and I watched the Dell City uh, Booker T game. Man, great win for Coach Wa- uh, Coach, Coach Jones, uh, Coach yeah. Jones and, and, uh, and the Dell City Eagles sitting at 2-0. and Beat a team know. that uh, beat him last year. One of the losses he took last year was to, uh, you know, to Booker T. And they still got a great, you know, quarterback in T's. And they kind of held him in check, man. And I tell you, Dell City's uh, defense, uh, they're swarming around the ball uh, real quick. A good shout-out to the Yellow Jackets. They got on the winning board yeah. to beat the team. Uh, Edmund Santa Fe uh, still had another great night. Uh, yep. Jack, uh, Latrell, um, all those Juju, guys. Man. Juju, Juju. I mean, yeah. i just tell you right now, they kind of got it rocking and rolling. Uh, QB got banged up. I don't know his, his status. Uh, I think he said he might know it, but yeah. I don't want to say nothing, nothing that uh, – Man, it's still. He the real deal. Yeah, Let's go. Still. Yeah, so – Played uh, a hell of a game. He did. He played a hell of a game. <laughs> what, what else y'all want to get into before y'all want to take – you want to look at some of the – Recap some of the games real we, quick. We can or? recap. We can roll right into high school. Are you done with college? G? Yeah, let, let's move let's, on. Let's get it going. So uh, starting in 6A1, mm-hmm. uh, let's talk about Jinx and Owasso. Really tight game. Uh, two powerhouses in the state of Oklahoma and in the Tulsa area. Uh, you know, you got Jinx winning 7-14. and 14, So And then, um, you know, that's just uh, it's a tough loss for Owasso. You know, they just come off a... Uh, beat down, by, beat Bigsby. down by Bixby, and then uh, they uh, they go ahead and they lose a tight one to Jinx, mm. and uh, you know they start off zero two. But uh, you know I think they they could be a team that can turn it around once they start district play and can earn a spot into the playoffs. So uh, and I think Jinx, I, I I gotta say Jinx is, I, you gotta I don't say they're, they're good. I don't think you, they're that good. You don't think they're that good? I don't think they're. I well, mean, you, it, you, you last heard. year they lost against Bixby. Yeah. Bixby blew out a Wassel, right? Yep. Yeah. And they only beat them by seven. Yeah. And sometimes it is about the matchup, but but man, they beat Edmond Santa Fe, uh, uh, thirteen to ten ball game. You know, I mean, they 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 barely beat Edmond Santa Fe, a thirteen ball game. So I put thirty nine points up on Edmond Santa Fe. Yeah, so it just kind of tells you, I mean, shoot, Jones or Chaw Top probably can go to Big Six A and, and, and compete in, in 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 that in that title run because I still think Jinx got all the kids, but I think they look good and, and they got the facility, but they're not clicking. Maybe, yeah. maybe they got some guys that moved in, but they're just not clicking right now. Mm-hmm. That, that's being real. Yeah. And then uh, another game you had, um, let's see, you got Westmore beating UConn 30-7. to uh, Okay, Zoe. Yeah, Coach Zoe gets his first, his first win of the first season. Win, first win, good job. So, and then uh, Bixby, you know, we had uh, Tyson Williams on last week. They talked about how they were going to go to Arkansas and play um, – Man, I forget. It's like Harbor yeah, something, Harbor. Harbor. Uh, Harbor, yeah, Arkansas, uh, Harbor team. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then Bixby goes to Arkansas and shuts them out, fifty nine nothing. Wow, that's, and that's so. a top notch team there in Arkansas. Yeah. Yeah. So that just tells you, I mean, because Bixby don't really didn't have a passing game. Maybe they figured out. I ain't got a chance to watch any film on that game yet. But I just tell you right now, that you, looking at that score, man, I mean, Bixby can control the six A big mm-hmm. already. I mean, that the, the, I think it's going to come down to Bixby and, 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 and uh, um, Union. Union. You got some of the yeah. top players in the state of Oklahoma. Um, I mean, just they had like eight or nine moving. And so, uh, Zoke, he got baptized to him. I talked to him the other day about the game. He just said, man, their defense is real. And then when you get, you know, when you get nine to ten moving, man, and you already yeah, got what you got. Yeah, it's hard to compete. It's hard to that, compete, man. man. But like I told you, everybody's doing it. Everybody's making Everyone a Everyone is moving in. Moving in. Yep. It's a super team now. But why wouldn't you? If you want to right. get that ring on your finger, 
I mean, you can not only that though, Tony. In addition to the ring, you put yourself in a good situation to be recruited, and even uh, you know, some people mention and um, not to cut you off, apologize for that, but some people even mention like um, Stone. Like, why did Stone go to IMG when he's already like a five star and getting all these? Well, you got to look past the offers itself. That the strength and conditioning program they have there, and when you play for IMG, you get a lot of followers. The more followers you get, it is about the followers you have now you got the nil so it's an investment in his future yes sir yes sir you're right about that absolutely uh moving on to 682 we already talked about choctaw msnfa and dell city booker t so Mm -hmm. another game that i like to highlight is pc west versus pc North. pc i see you coach alexander you know when you when you told me about coach alexander i didn't know if i was a believer or not now i am you know you can go out there and win that first two games you've been with keep it 100 how many years now two years three years three years three years what we do here we keep it what 100 okay so we ain't gonna lie to you about coach alexander i I know but just my history of playing pc west (laughs) (laughs) it's a day Coach, you got yeah, I know a different, it's a different coach. You but, got a different race car yeah. driver behind the wheel now. <laughs> I was just saying, I mean, I mean, I would get out on the field against PC West. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'd yeah. be out there doing my thing against them. Hey, but that's what, that's what yeah. you made your huddle, hey, but you huh? You know yeah. what? <laughs> <laughs> you crazy. <laughs> I love you. Yeah, I love you. I uh, know. Uh, no offense taken. In, in, in all seriousness, um, the uh, the environment that they had out there, I think Coach Willis is a perfect fit. Kind of like how I see Coach Jones being a perfect fit at Dell City. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, they take they, a special person. In addition to the special person, they see someone that look like them, walk like them, talk like them. You see what I'm saying? They yeah, can yeah. relate to them. Relate to so them. So then the relationships are built. They touch in their hearts. They're playing. They're playing for the guys, and it's just not so. It's just not about the X's and O's. It's about the relationships that they're building out there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then uh, another game in six A two to highlight: Deer Creek versus Edmond Memorial. Deer Creek picking up right where they left off last season, uh, you know, beating Edmund Memorial 39-14. to 14, And, uh, you know, I think as of right now, I think you got to say Deer Creek is the team to beat in 6A2. Um, uh, I, I mean, I, I'm right there with you. I mean, I, I think what if you had to – I, I mean, I'm going to say if you yeah. had to pick your top your top four, I mean, you got to say Choctaw, Deer Creek. You got to say uh, 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 Muskogee. Muskogee. I think Muskogee's right there. I mean, you're going to find out what Muskogee's out this, this Friday night. We'll be at that game. Check I, it out. I would throw in Sand Springs I mean, and Stillwater. Well, you got – that's what oh, I'm yeah, saying. Oh, yeah, Stillwater, Sand Springs. But yep. I'm saying I think with Muskogee's uh, – you know, with They're their, young. They're young. But I think, you know, they're going to grow up as you play. Each week you get – you get you get – you're not a freshman no more. You become a sophomore. Because the more games you play, you get it on your wings. So you right. feel like, hey, I understand my offense. You know, I, I kind of listened to uh, Muskogee's coach, you know, speak on the game. Mm-hmm. And he was kind of talking about, hey, you know, we still got a lot of – granted, we put some points up and, and did all this. But we still got some things that we got to clean up and fix. And and that's what the thing is. You can't get settled. Some teams get settled like, oh, we good. Right. Man, there's somebody going – everybody – when you're the best team, mm-hmm. you're going to get everybody's best shot. Yeah, that's just real talk. You're gonna get everybody's best shot. So uh, I just think um, I think you got to put Muskogee in the mix. I think you got to put you know Sand Springs. You know, Coach uh, Clink. Uh, Clink, uh, Clink, Clink, yeah. Clink. I think it's Clink. Clink. Yeah, Clink. Coach Clink there at Sand Springs that played at OU as coach. You know, for a while, I, I, I think he put a great game plan last year against Roberts' team. So uh, it just tells you right now you can't you can't count Sand Springs out. Uh, you know, and it's all about like RT says it week in and week out. It's all about staying healthy. You know, yes. I mean, like you said, you know, I mean, Tata, you know, granted it's not a non-district game, but you're still going to go in there and play against Zoa, a big 6A team who got some big-sized guys. Mm-hmm. So it, it still is kind of banged up or beat up a little bit. Why Why risk playing him? Right. right? You know what I'm saying? So then, right. I mean, so then, hey, because the thing is about it, look at it. You lost, uh, Kyle Albert lost their quarterback. Yep. Kawita just lost their quarterback. Yep. You know, still goes down. If he goes down for a little bit, if it's one game, two games, or three games, I don't know. But I'm saying, man, that's three quarterbacks in, 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 in back-to-back weeks. And mm-hmm. when you're running and, and I don't know how much – I mean, Quita's quarterback ran a lot because when I watched the game and uh, everybody know Reed ran a lot. So mm-hmm. – and, and still runs a lot. So you got three quarterbacks that can all sling the ball, mm-hmm. but they're also running the ball. But, you know, you start getting those hits on those knees and you don't right. slide, man, you got to get out of bounds, man. Yeah. And that's if I'm a coach, head coach, I'm telling each one of these – telling my quarterback now, get out, get down. Get down, slide. Practice sliding at practice. Right, right, week. right. So, but I mean, so I, I think uh, small six A is, is wide open. Mm-hmm. I really do. But I, I mean, but you can't you can't count out some of these teams. Granted, they might be getting beat right now. They might be missing a kid. There might have been a kid missing from COVID. You know, that's going around mm-hmm. big time. A uh, kid could been hurt, been been suspended. You, you never know. So I, I think you know. I think PC West. I hope they find a way to get in the playoffs. It's going to be kind of tough because they're on the other side. Uh, you know, with I mean, I, I tell you, look at that other side. You got. You got Deer Creek, 
Oh, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Take that back. You got Stillwater. I think you got Muskogee. You got Sand Springs. Mm -hmm. And there, there's one, I think, uh, who's the other one I'm looking at? Uh, uh, six A Small? Yeah, Six A Small. In District. In District, trying to get in the playoffs. The top four go, right? Yep, top yeah, four go in East Division. Top four go. So, I mean, who else is in that district? Like I said, you name those teams. Because, I mean, really it's going to come down to uh, uh, Chata and, and, and Deer Creek on this side. Yeah. I mean, I'm I mean, trying to get it pulled up right now. I mean, that's now. all you're going to have is those two yeah. teams. Those two teams going to battle each other. Who, whoever plays here in a couple weeks, that's yeah. going to be for the district. So, you got, so, on their side, you got Stillwater, Top Booker T. Washington. Washington. Booker T. Washington. There you so, go. Yeah, yeah. So, one of, y one of those teams might face. I mean, if, if you had to look at the district right now, if you had to pick it right now, you would probably go what? Uh, I th if I had to pick it right now, I'd have to go Stillwater, uh, Muskogee. Sand Springs, Booker T. Washington, and then I—I I mean, if PC West keeps doing their thing, they might earn their spot. But it's going to be hard to get in with. Yeah, that. it's going to be hard. With the, yeah, right. With those teams, uh, but whoever finishes number what? So I mean, whoever finishes between Chata and uh, and uh, Deer Creek is going to be going to be the yeah. number two seed. So they'll face the number three, and if number three seed could be a, a Muskogee, it could or, be a Muskogee or a Sand Springs. That's it what very I'm well Could be a Booker that's a T. Tough, yeah, that's a tough first game. Yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, it really is though. So I mean, that's good stuff, V. I like it. I like it. Yeah. We, we roll. It. Rolling. So yeah, let's get into some of the five eight, <clears throat> some of these five eight games. Uh, you guys were at the Carl Albert Midwest City game, and I, I saw the video that RT had put out of Tayshawn just man. laying out these. I've been kids, telling y'all, man, that's yeah. hit man. Yeah. I used to hit like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But I mean, <laughs> I had to I had to watch the video a few times. I thought it was the same hit on repeat, but he did it to a kid twice. Twice. Twice he did that. Just he also he also uh, blocked the PAT as well. The, the, the kid is special. Yeah. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. like I said, the four or five got some good players on this side of the state. Man, you look at him, you look at Kanizel, and both of those guys are five eight. And there's a good chance they might face each other in, in, in the playoffs. Yeah. And I, I tell you, man, it'd be good if you still had that rival of uh, you know Dell City and Carl Albert. I know last year. Uh, Dell City came over to Carl Albert and beat up on them. I know they had some kids out and hurt, but I, I think if See, they play, I, I don't understand that because, and we always shout out to Andy. We always talked about you know he did a really good job of keeping them in a separate district, so it puts Mid Dell in a great position to have an opportunity to get to state and win state. But if if if, if I was in his shoes, I would definitely want to keep the profits and proceeds here in the Mid Dell area. No, no, so no. the first three games. They, you got to have them playing each other, and you can consider a real Middale champion and yeah, also it, throw in Choctaw. Yeah, yeah. There's no reason for Choctaw, Midway City, Dale City, and Carl Albert, the first three games, to play each other to get ready for district, district play. play. Yeah. You know, like you said, you can have a, a, a you know a little little trophy, little cup, little Why whatever. didn't they play this year? I don't know, man. I don't. I don't make the schedule. I mean, I just you know. I mean, I, I think Jones wanted the game, but the, the game wasn't granted. Um, I think Jones did a good job going out playing his non uh, conference, you know, non conference game. Yeah, he definitely is not running from anyone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he, what, what's yeah. that one say? He want the what? Want the smoke? He want the smoke. Yeah, <laughs> he want the smoke. Yeah. Uh, let's he move on. <laughs> move on to some of these uh, other five A games. You got Clinton taking on Bishop McGinnis. Uh, you know, Bishop McGinnis, a 5A powerhouse, and then you got Clinton that's coming off a state championship at 4A. Um, you know, and Bishop McGinnis goes out there and does their thing. They beat him 46-14. Man, I think uh, QB yeah. threw for six touchdowns. Man. Bishop McGinnis? Yes. Man. I, six touchdowns. Man, it's going to get interesting here the next few weeks. Boy, I'm telling you, we're going to, well, you know, we're going to add another guy. He's going to start going out when he can make it the nights he's not off. Me and RTL hit a game, and uh, we're going to have Deshaun go out, and, and, and him and he probably go hit a game together, and uh, kind of get recaps. We're going to go out and try to hit more games. We're going to try to hit that 918 area. Yeah. Oh, we want to go yeah, see absolutely. some of those teams play, man, because it's fun sitting over there. I told RT, I mean, Friday night I wasn't much help to RT. Uh, coming off a long work week, man, you know, the, the business I'm in, it's, it's tough, um, you know, especially when it gets those uh, the, the holidays, holidays. Too. Yeah. yeah, holidays. Uh, everybody wants the beverages, so uh, me as the boss, I got to go out there and work with my team because I'm not one of those guys that like to sit in the office and, and look good in his co -hons. That's yeah. That's good because I always ask you, I was like, Tony, man, you boss, man, why? Why are you man. always out there? I mean, it's like, it's good because everyone would love to have a boss like that. Man, Absolutely. I, the way I look at it, man, yeah, I put on my pants just like everybody else, man. You know, me, where I come from growing up, not having much. 320 East like, Boy. 320 East Boy. But I, I just feel like, man, if you out there working with your people, they're going to respect you 10 times more. And that's just like with this crew, man. I feel like I'm, 
RT was like, man, this morning I'm sitting there attending them text messages, what we going to do and all that, because it's a team effort. It yeah. ain't the Tony Johnson effort, it's a team effort. And yeah. all three of us, are, you know, we're rocking and rolling. The day Sean just came to me last night and said, hey, man, I want to go out there and do some games with you. Guess what, son? You're hired. You ain't getting paid now, and I'll help you with your car insurance. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but let's keep it at 100. Yeah. Oh, McAllister. Everyone thought that, uh, you know, the uh, OU commit, Eric McCarty, was hurt. But he yeah. actually had two touchdowns. Yeah, I think I read something. It was just a bone bruise. They just kind of wrapped it up and kept him out of the game just to make sure. And then he was able to come out there and do his thing week Again, two, week one. Yeah. More injuries. Injuries. Yeah. So you, and, and he goes both ways. Right. Yeah. So the, you what, the, the depth is going to catch up with everyone come playoffs when you consider he's a running back as well. Yes, sir. And playing both sides of the ball, you may have to limit, to him, limit his carries or where he's playing. And then in addition to that, you cannot – hand the ball off 25, 30 times to a guy and expect come week 11 or 12, he's going to be able to hold up. Right. Football is a collision sport. Eventually, yeah. somebody is yeah. going to have I mean, to tap it's, out. It's unfortunate, but injuries are just part of the a part of the game. Right. It's just part of it. So, I mean, you see it at all levels. You know, Little League all the way up to professional. Yes, sir. So, uh, let's move on to some of these 4A games. I, I was out at the uh, Hera and McLeod game. Woo-wee! A pretty, pretty uh, big rivalry yeah. uh, out there on that side of the state. And, um, I mean, that was just a cool environment to be in, you know, uh, a rivalry. You can kind of feel the tension when you walked in there. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, they, McLeod had a great environment out there. That was my first time out in McLeod to watch a game or anything. Great environment. Like, you got guys setting up their own tents right outside the field, grilling, having their oh. own little tailgate. Yeah, that's, so, good time. I mean, that's great. That's yeah. small town football. You that's small town. Fo- said, hey, can I get a uh, bite of that burger? <laughs> yeah, I really wanted to. They, it smelled good. Whatever they were cooking over there, it smelled really good. But uh, just a really great atmosphere. Uh, I really enjoyed my time out there. So I want to give a shout out to McLeod and Hera for both having me out there. I uh, had a great time. Uh, but McLeod, uh, they get they get the win this year. And the and the rivalry and you know uh, they, they looked really good. I mean, I didn't know much about McLeod. I know they had a pretty talented running back that everybody's been talking about. But he, he uh, got he got an yeah. offer from one of the academies. Yeah, too. Navy. I think he might be committed to Navy as of okay, right now. That's but big um, time. Go to your thing, big boy. <clears throat> but um, but yeah, uh, really great game. Uh, Hera. I mean, they struggled early. I mean, you put uh, you fumbled the ball five times in the first half and you lose them. Th- you lose it three times. I mean. Five you got to keep it 100 right here. You just you, you're not going to win very many football no. games uh, doing that. But I know Coach Bleak uh, they'll they'll address that problem this week in practice, and uh, they'll make sure that those guys are being able to hold on to the ball. Yep. And uh, you know they'll move on. And uh, I still think they have a chance to have a really great season. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but yeah, McLeod. I mean, I went out there. They got some big kids over there. They got some big old corn fed kids out there in McLeods. They got this kid. <laughs> <laughs> like they got the, this kid number one. I mean, he runs past me, and he's. I mean, I remember when we were out there, we were watching Tango. He's out there built like Tango from Dell mm, City. Yeah. Big, That's kid. big time, especially, big kid. especially in so, a small class like that. Yeah. Hey, yeah, I got to touch on something real quick. So, yeah. so, you know, me and you did the media day, right? Yep. And all those McLeod kids, oh, man. you know, talking yeah. noise. We want McLeod, man. We want big old people. I said, why are y'all like, oh, we don't like them because they're that, that McLeod. Yeah, they said, well, guess not what? Like somebody from McLeod tweeted that. Yeah, but the, but the official McLeod football account kept the receipts and tweeted on us. So, uh, you know. That's nice. Hey, I mean, hey. I just, it is what it is. You know, they, it, it kind of reminds me of the week before, or maybe two weeks, uh, when Mason uh, from Coweta yeah, said the yeah, same thing. You know, I, I had some things that I could put out, but, you know, I'm going to let my game do the talking. And, yeah. and and that's what you should do. You should. Yeah. I mean, why go out there and talk a game? Did you go get burned or you you miss a tackle? Now, everybody's going to be crying. So go out there and let your game do the talking. Mm-hmm. Right, right. You know, let your game do the talking. But I think we got to bring some – you know, we got two special guests coming on tonight. I yeah. know we're in a five. Is there a couple more of the games we want to talk about real quick before we uh, we bring uh, Cedric on? No, we can go ahead and stop yeah, right there and get, get, these, uh, well, get these interviewees on. And I want to thank, uh, you know, like I said, once again, I know we don't we don't give them guys enough credit, but i like to thank the sponsors that do help us man, make the show go. Uh, they help, you know, sponsor the scholarships, like I said uh, – you know, our goals right now is 500, but you know, we can get that thousand. We'll love to do th- a thousand and we might just do two 500s, but I, I like to thank, you know, like one, uh, Eric Sanford, you know, at Lion X, man, he does a lot for mm-hmm. the show. Um, you know, Jay Hunt has been mm-hmm. kind of partners. I talked to him the other night and then Jeff Blake, uh, a coworker of mine that probably got so much money, he don't know what to do with it. So he <laughs> wants to give it to young men or young woman to get a scholarship and help further their career in, 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 in college. So, you know, we, we thank those guys, man. And, I know Clutch Culture, you know, we, we sponsor him, but he does a lot behind the scenes. So, uh, yeah. you know, anybody that is looking to get an ad on, you know, we're not asking for thousands of dollars, you know, if it's $100, no. $50, $25. Hey, we're, you know, they can anything, they can help us out. Because, like I said, none of us get paid to do this. We volunteer to do this each 
Sunday or Wednesday evening or morning mm -hmm. or whatever we decide we decide to do. But it's fun giving back to, and, and talking to Definitely. kids and, and, and letting them letting people know who Cedric Frazier is. Letting people know about the young QB over that. You know, and Ronnie kind of told us about him, and I kind of you know followed him a little bit last year. But now you see the numbers he's putting up. You know, everybody on the four hundred five don't know about this young man. You know, everybody don't know about Cedric, a young man that was at Charleston. I went back to Edmond North. Now he's balling out. Mm -hmm. uh, I think he got sick, and I'll let him kind of talk about that. You know, when we bring him home, but. I, yeah. It's, it's exciting, you know, like I said, to sit here on a Sunday afternoon, yeah. on Labor Day weekend, and, and, and talk high school sports and talk about some of the great games that went on Friday night. And there was a lot of great games. And granted, we can't get to every game because we don't want to have a two-hour show and, and nobody wants to sit here and listen to right. us. Or, I mean, I know we're good-looking men, but they don't want to sit here and watch us. <laughs> Said it late, but you definitely got it straight. <laughs> yeah. You know, listen to us for two hours. But so we're going to try to keep this an hour, hour and a half the best we can because, like I said, what we're bringing is good stuff, though. Mm -hmm. and, and I know that because I got more people texting and following me now than I ever have. So I think people already know who they are. But, hey, keep following <laughs> us. Keep, you know. Please do. Uh, Absolutely. You know, watching the, uh, the episodes. I know we're doing, we've been putting out some videos for young men. And we'll do the same when it comes to basketball season for young mm -hmm. women and wrestling. Uh, because we got the time to get out and go do the things. And so, uh, you know, I think we're planning on going to a game here in a couple of weeks. And I'm going to try to do a $50 uh, giveaway, uh, yeah. you know, for anybody that subscribes to our show. Or uh, you know, subscribe to one of our Twitter pages because you know, we want to keep pushing this show. Uh, the, the better we can make it, you know what? We don't want to get paid. From, no, we want to get paid from from them sponsors for, uh, for uh, on, on, on YouTube. Yeah, you know what I'm saying we trying to be some right. YouTube fame and, and, and keep growing the show and keep giving the things that we need. So, but we'll be right back after what? After one of our sponsors, keeping it 100. Oklahoma, Oklahoma High, High School, School Sports. Sports. Right back, man, Dad. All this crazy weather has gotten our roof and gutters all messed up. Good thing we know some guys over at Rain Down Roofing and Gutters. They can inspect and repair your roof and gutters and get in contact with your insurance company in 72 hours or less. Call Jay Hunt at Rain Down Roofing and Gutters at 405-473-0674. No job is too big or too small for Rain Down Roofing and Gutters. Welcome back to Keep It 100 Oklahoma High School Sports on this Sunday, Labor Day weekend, and we still get to talk high school sports. Uh, our special guest tonight, all the way from the Edmond, Oklahoma, one of the prettiest town in Oklahoma. And you got to have money to live in Edmond. So, welcome to the show, <laughs> Mr. Cedric Frazier. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Man, we are good. Glad to have you on the, on the show. I mean, I know you as a young freshman running the 4 2 out here at Choctaw. I know you uh, end up taking your talents back over to Edmond. And, like I said, we're glad to have you on the show. I got Mr. R.T. Sherman and Mr. Ethan Davis that played with you a little bit. He's our young, our young up and coming journalist. And I'll tell you, man, he's done good things over at Rope State. But, like I said, we're excited, yes, to, have, we're excited to have you on the show. So, Cedric, tell us a little bit about yourself, man. I know you, but these guys don't know you. So, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm a. A small, young, humble, you know, dedicated player. You know, um, you know, I want to go get it. And ever Ooh. since I was a kid, I want to go get it. No matter what, you know, anything that's in my way, any challenges, any adversity, you know, I'm a, um, I'm gonna handle it the right way. And you know, I'm just a outgoing young man. And that, that's that's big time, Cedric. Because I know you. I know your mom is real tough on you. Uh, I know she keeps that finger on you, man, and that's what a good mom does, man. I mean, my mom raised me and my two, you know, my two other brothers, Jonah and Jerry. Uh, you know, she kept us. She worked three jobs, and I, I know your mom is is one of your biggest fans, and that's good to have because you know uh, sometimes you know you uh, as, as, as young men, you know, our fathers might not be in the picture, right, or, right, in or out. But I'm just saying, I know she's done a great job with you, and I know you're a great great football player so what's it like being over at Edmond you know I mean you guys are ranked in the top 10 I know you lost a couple of games but I know you've been putting up some numbers so what's what's it like you know with the Edmond North uh uh you know uh, team this year uh this year it's just uh like a whole new just 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 the energy's different you know we got uh a really really new young coaching staff uh it's nothing but love you know our coaches are about players first and then they're just really understanding. Uh, you know, they make sure that we understand what we're doing. Um, and then our new defensive coordinator, uh, he's just a dog as a coach. You know, he he brings a different level of uh, um, energy and just intense, all that. Like he, he brings everything to the table that we need for defense. And then, our, of course, our head coach, he's a really, really great coach. He's a great man, great offensive coach. You know, we just got – a new set of uh, new set of players as well. That especially like our young players, you know, they stepped up uh, this summer and now it's leading into the season. So 
other than that, I just really I have great, great, great looks about this uh, this season. And of course, those two games were just um, warm ups for us. You know, we seen what we did wrong. You know, now we're just fixing it and starting tomorrow and Tuesday. You know, we're going into a big week. So, you know, we're going to handle it how we're supposed to handle it and get this W. That's good. That's good, Mr. Frazier. Um, I like that you, uh, you're you hungry for success and you speak highly of your coaches. And with you being one of the leaders, um, what are you doing to try to uh, help your coaches to um, help develop those uh, underclassmen, your little brothers? Uh, for, oh, I, I – um, I make sure to communicate with my coaches, you know, and there are some coaches who probably ask me a question uh, about like, you know, what, what could we do to help the youngins, Mm -hmm. you know, and I just, you know, there's a thing called like love, you know, like with all my, my young, like sophomore teammates, you know, they can tell anybody if I ever see them hang their head low, you know, I'm telling them, you know, everything's going to be good. Like there's, there's some things that I had to tell myself, control what you can control, you Mm. know, um, and that's a big thing that I've been told. And, you know, a couple of years ago, I probably, you know, I didn't really listen to it how I did now, but listening to that now, um, and actually doing it and controlling what I can control is something that I just always tell the youngins, like, and something that I also tell my, you know, like my coaches, you know, s- some things might not go our way, but mm-hmm. the one thing that we got to do as a team is stay positive about mm-hmm. everything. So like, the best team and the best players will be best when they're positive. That's like, right. You know, like, that's that's it, that's it. like being negative brings a lot of bad to it, which is, I mean, the definition. So, I mean, you know, like you don't want to do that ever. You know, you want to stay positive and stay humble. That's yeah. good. That's good. And you, you, you definitely hit it right when you said controlling the controllable and staying positive. That's Attitude right. is everything. And, uh, uh, you, you being able to recognize that and admit, you know, earlier in your career, you uh, maybe sometimes you didn't really listen to that, but now you understand it and you're paying it forward by big looking out for your little brothers. Have you ever uh, considered, you know, after, you know, uh, football or when you become an adult or sometime uh, giving back and getting into the coaching? Because you speak well and you, yes, you, yes, you, you're putting your coaches up there and it sounds like that uh, you're one of the main ones that is the glue of the team holding everything together. For sure. Uh, of course, I've, I've always wanted to be a coach ever since, which, you know, I could uh, speak on uh, Mr. Johnson. He um, actually um, was the person to introduce my mom and I to training. So yes, ever since my freshman year, I never stopped training. Like freshman and sophomore year, I like, I kind of had a problem. Like I was training three times a day type stuff. So it was like. <laughs> That's a good problem to have. Hey, 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 <laughs> yeah, so hey. it was like after that. Um, with me knowing so much from being trained by like three different trainers, mm-hmm. I just added it to my bag. And go. I'm the type of guy if like if any player like even players from different schools like rivalry teams or or different high school players takes me and asks like for help, I'm always willing to do it. You know, like and, I, yeah. I, and I've also did it to about ten plus players. You know, wow. I'm, I'm I'm always willing to help and train other players to get them better for their craft and for their game as well. So, of course, uh, in, in a couple of years, if I don't uh, make it pro, I, I want to make sure that I coach pro, you know? Mm. That, 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 that's good stuff, you know. Uh, e, I know I know you want to jump on this, man, him being an yeah. uh, ex-Yellow Jacket. Uh, <clears throat> so, I'm going to get some of this. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I remember watching you, and uh, I remember the first practice that we had, uh, you at Choctaw, you were just, I didn't know who you were. I didn't know where you came from. <laughs> But we're out there and we're running drills and you're out there catching these, you know, catching these passes. And you know, Coach Brown, you knew how he was. He would throw right. that ball at you that, like 90 miles an hour. But, uh, you know, and you were just already making plays as a freshman and you were just, you were small. So, uh, uh, I don't, I haven't seen you since then. I don't know how much bigger you may have gotten, but you know, just, uh, your size, you know, a lot of people will say, uh, will look at you and, you know, you don't necessarily pass the eye test, but, um, you know, but you play bigger than your size. Mm. If you if you can get right. what I'm where I'm getting at, so just talk about you know some of the things that you might have to do or work harder at because of your size to be the caliber of player that you are. Good right, for sure. Yeah, I um, I kind of look at my size actually as a good thing because you know, like I said, like I'm always for other people. So for other people who think being small is a problem, it's mm. really not. It's, it's really all about how you 
how you produce out of being small. Like, mm -hmm. what are you going to do to make people, you know, look at other things than your height? Like, how are you practicing or how are you lifting or how are you preparing your body or how are you running? Like, how fast are you? Like, how good can you catch? How many tackles can you break? You know, once you do all of those things, a lot of college coaches really don't look at the height no more. You know, they look at the dog, you know, and if you got that dog in you, you can't pass up a player who got the dog in him. Yes, sir. Absolutely. That's, that's like keeping, man, that's, hey, I'm getting <laughs> excited. Yeah, that's hey, keeping man, it 100 man, right there. Shout out to your mother because she laid a great foundation. Because, <laughs> yes, young yes, man, yes. the way you're speaking, you're speaking like a champion. Mm -hmm. The last name Frazier is like the old heavyweight champion, heavyweight. Joe Frazier. Hey, Joe yeah. Frazier. Yeah, yeah I like it. Yeah, good yeah, stuff. Sure. Good stuff. Hey, uh, Cedric, I, you know, like I said, I got to know you as a, as a young age. You know, you and my son played the same position. Uh, you kind of, you both kind of remind me yourself. I mean, you're probably a little bit faster than him. He might get mad at me saying it, but I keep it 100. That's the name of this show. <laughs> but man, just to see what you've done the last few years, man. And like you said, you got that uh, offer from Tulsa. And you know, whatever college is going to get you is going to get a great great not just a great athlete but a great young man that's going to help carry their gpa because i know you hit those books just as hard as you hit that, mm -hmm. that field and and i know the type of mother you have she's going to make you do that but just to just it's to see true. where you come from from chata to back to edmund you know and, and you could have easily stayed over here at chata and been still number one target but you know you took another journey and sometimes uh you got to take those 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 different journeys but mm -hmm. i, I want to tell you though I am really proud of you, like you said, the training that you do, the things that you do to get yourself better, because I'm telling you right now, there's probably not nobody out there in high school football that's working as hard as you. And I'm, and I'm being real because I know this young man, how he works, how he wants to get better. So, man, you tap yourself on the back, pat yourself on the back, because, man, what you've done to you get yourself, no matter what college you go to, because mm -hmm. I know we always want to go big, but sometimes big don't work out. And I just said right. to him, my other son, Deshaun, you know, I said, man, you know what? You got kids that could go power five now right mm -hmm. but they're not going right. to power five you know why because i can go to jackson state and guess what i still can go to the league right yeah. you know what i'm saying so it doesn't matter what and i know you <clears> one <throat> of your goals is like hey may try to make it to the nfl but that's good goals to have because no matter if you don't go to tulsa if you go to uco if you go to obu or wherever you go you still got a chance to make it because if you keep working hard it's all gonna pay off yes and right now right. what you're doing you always gonna give god's gonna give you something back man mm -hmm. so keep doing what you're doing brothers really keep doing what you're that's doing awesome. yes sir yeah. yes sir you know, uh, we touched on the offers a little bit. Talk about some of those offers that you do hold right now and kind of talk about the recruiting process and where you stand at this current moment. So uh, as of right now, from last year, I'm just holding Tulsa um, due to how the season went last year. You know, I was supposed to break out and be, you know, the receiver that everybody was waiting to see. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, there was like a lot of um, – a lot of things that went downhill with, you know, like my body condition. So I had to turn into a uh, a great defensive back that I was last year. You know, mm -hmm. only allowed one catch off of two targets a game, 14 PBU. So it was like I, I I made the best out of that, like, huge negative that I had got surprised with. And that was Rob Doe. Um, it's like a muscle, a muscle and a tissue and protein disease or, you know, it's – it's something to, uh, that got brought by my sickle cell trait that we didn't know really anything about. Like we didn't know what Rob Doe was or anything like mm -hmm. that, but it, a lot of cramps and a lot of like heavy sweat. So it was things that I just couldn't control. And like I, you know, said earlier, that was one of the big things that I had to learn was I had to control what I could control, which was if I needed to play one side of the ball last year mm -hmm. and, ball out on defense then i mean that's what i did yes, sir. and i just want to you know and, and and i always thank god every day for even putting me in that position to still be able to play yes, sir. because i mean like i said it was like a huge scare like we didn't know like anything about it like coaches and other people were saying just hydrate you know you're just probably dehydrated and i would go to the hospital and they're telling me i'm overly hydrated so it's like you know it, it was just something that I dealt with, and the recruitment kind of <laughs> fell down until this spring is when it, you know, lit back up because, you know, like I said, God, God, he he gives blessings on his own time. Mm, that's it, that's it. Mm, Preaching over there. He gave, you know, he gave me my blessing really, really at a great time to where I honestly and I can say this I honestly thought that like ah you know maybe you know like the big schools and a big you know D1 isn't you know really like 
my thing right now. But after that, he gave me that blessing. He gave me the looks, and he gave me back my power, and I've been using it mm. like I'm supposed to. And you know, I went to BYU for a visit. That's you know, what I'm talking I had, about. That's it. That's I had Tulane texting me. I went to OU camp. You know, I had them looking and 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 talking, and I just ended up like feeling feeling great again. You know, and That's good. That's good. you know, I just you know, I just always just just you know. Thank God for even putting me back in the position I am now. That's awesome. That's awesome. And uh, Tulsa is actually a really great school. When you start looking at life after football or life after sports, getting a degree from Tulsa University holds a lot of weight in the uh, right. uh, in the world of business. So you have an opportunity to go there, ball out, and you talked about training as well. So in your size, so when you when I when I hear that, I start thinking about you know uh, Dwight Dobbins. Dobbins yes, He's sir. a DB trainer, right. good with footwork. Yeah. He also was at Tulsa. So man, like you said, control the controllable. It's a win win. Uh, guy's gonna take care of you. He got your back. And, and, and that's real speaking talk. Of, <clears throat> speaking of Dwight Dobbins, you know that's another another strong uh, influencer in my life right now. You know he was my seven seven coach, and um, he. He makes sure that he's on top of what I'm doing. You know, he helped me out with my recruitment during the spring. You know, I went up to Jackson State, uh, Coach Mathis and Coach Sanders. You know, and this is crazy that I'm saying this, but, you know, Coach Mathis and Coach Sanders had something great to say about me. You know, they liked my, you know, like my feet work. They liked the way I carried myself. You know, they liked my speed. And, like, mm-hmm. for me to hear that Deion Sanders had something to say about me, and he even called my name called my number about three times out there it was just that's uh, big like, time that's big time yeah, yeah. yeah that was the that's best cool. yeah, that was the best yeah. man i mean I, I tell you right now uh you know you talk about jackson state because i'm sitting there watching game before we started the show and i was telling my son Deshaun, i said man you know what man if anybody got a chance to go play for Dion, especially as a defensive back, man, you're going to learn from the best and he's going to teach you. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I, I've known Dion for a while. Me and RT both have because we done work with Dion when we uh, did our little league programs. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, it's so funny because my little Bombers team that I had, we played against his son that's the quarterback for Jackson State. And, you know, we beat them and they beat me three times. I beat him one time. <laughs> but I had a, I had an awesome player that, you know, that plays for Texas Tech that's playing the, DV, uh, playing the defensive back. is Daytron Trailer is known by Rabbit that played at Carl Albert. Um, you know, I got another young man that you know, uh, Jaden Poole that plays over at uh, Emporia State. Emporia. State. So we had some players. So, so it's not like you know, Dion got some guys that when he on his on his on his uh, little young youth team, he had some players like his son is playing D one, his other son. You know, but I just tell you though, man. I mean, if you get a chance to to go to Jack State, and, and no matter where you go, man, you make the best of it because, man, at, like RT, man, he's taught me a lot, man. Because I was a bitter father for a long, long time, and people could probably say I'm still bitter because, as a father, when you have your kids, you would like that because mm-hmm. when something you think is taken from them, but God put them in situations that sometimes you might not know. Because you might think it's good for them, but it might not be good for them because mm-hmm. you can go play college ball. And that's something you got to look at too, Cedric. Hey, I can go play at this school at Tulsa, but they got nine DBs in front of me. But I might go over here and play at, 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 at you know, BYU, but they might got two guys. Yeah, it's far away. But you got to mm-hmm. go play with it where it's going to fit you, where you got a chance right. to get on the, on, 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 the, on the field because you get a lot of kids that go play somewhere. And I tell you, these coaches that get fired, when they get fired, they're going to bring their coaches in that, that, that they like, but they're going to get the kids that they've been, they've been recruiting to come in. So now that might put you back. Uh, I'm right. running over one of my friends now over at, at, at North Texas State. His son was a great quarterback. Um, he, you know, he went to uh, um, uh, Louisiana Tech. You know, got some games, so he thinks, hey, I'm going to come back home closer to home. I'm going to be at North Texas. Guess what? He didn't even start for North Texas, and the kid played at Louisiana Tech. And that's how it works. So find something that fits you, that's going to, you know, get your degree in. And then, and, you know, like I said, life after football, man, make, make the best of it because you're a great speaker. You can go into politics, man. People's going to follow you. You're a great young man, man. Tell Miss mm-hmm. Fraser she's done a great job. Yes. I'm telling you, man, you always made me cry when you was talking, man, because that's real stuff. Man. Yes. Because young, yes, need to hear, young people need to hear what you're saying man. because you, you're speaking the truth, man. That's real talk. And I'm not saying it because yes, you're on this show. That's real, man. He, mm-hmm. he, I'm telling yeah. you, man, that's, that's good that's stuff, That's real man. talk for sure. Real, real good stuff. Appreciate that, for real. Yeah. But man, I know uh, you guys are sitting at 0 and 2 right now. You got Edmund Memorial coming in. Uh, you should be able to get your first win there. Then you got Enid. 
Then you got Norman, uh, it's kind of down. You got Santa Fe that's got beat by Chata. A Wasso, I don't think it's Wasso as good as everybody think they are. Mustang, there goes a bunch of big hype about Mustang. Uh, you know, with Jacoby Johnson kid and, you know, and, uh, the base kid. I mean, they got some players over there, a good quarterback. So you guys got a good chance to still make it into the playoffs though. Um, I mean, so what's the team like? I mean, is everybody still upbeat? Because you know, you lose a couple games and, and everybody started kind of getting down on themselves. So what's the team like? Uh, right now, you know, we're just ready to have our team meeting at six and get it going. You know, we, 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 um, after that Deer Creek loss, which was a game and we prepared for that game, I think for about almost two months, you know, we were doing things, not even colleges were doing. Like we were going through scout cards. We were practicing and going hard, full, full on reps, fast, all that. And for us to lose that game, I honestly thought in my mind that we were going to start losing pieces. But for me to see the team ready to come back that next morning, ready to work harder than we ever did, boom, we did. And we had a little rocky practice going into more. But, you know, those last two practices um, before the game uh, was something that I wanted to see because the main word going into more was finish. And we finished that week. And, of course, you know, we didn't come out with the result that we wanted. But we're just taking it step by step. And this week is the week for us to really step it up. And right now the team is feeling great. You know, they're feeling strong. They're feeling hungry. You know, like it's not just me that got this feeling. It's really the whole team. You know, my quarterback, he's feeling super hungry. He's ready to throw about 300 to 400 yards. And I'm ready to catch that. So, you know, <laughs> ready to uh, to go in and take Emma Memorial as hard as we can. Oh, good you, deal. That's good stuff, though. Fredro, man, we appreciate you coming on our show, man. Good luck to you and the team the rest mm-hmm. of the season. Uh, good luck to your recruiting. Uh, you know, everything's going to work out. I know sometimes, you know, we, we that's one thing we like having young men and women on the show. It might not look like the, the bright, but the light's going to turn on and something good's going to happen. You know, like you said, you, you got the faith in the Lord. He's always going to bless people. You know, like I said, it might not be tomorrow, but he got something in store for you. So whatever's in store for you, man, you keep doing what you got to do and keep balling out. And guess what? You're going to get recognized. And like I said, uh, the show will be out on, on, on uh, yeah. you know, Wednesday morning, Wednesday, sometime Wednesday. And we'll let you know. And you just like I said, uh, you know, keep it 100. Glad to have you on this show. Guys, anything else? Yes, sir. No, I, yeah, just good luck the rest of the season. And, you know, uh, everything will work itself out. You know, a mm-hmm. little saying that was taught to me when I was uh, when I was younger is just bloom wherever you're planted, you know. So, mm. just, so you know. God will work everything out. He'll put you in the right place, and you'll bloom wherever you're planted, man. So uh, just good luck to you and uh, and your team the rest of the season. Yes, sir. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah. Yes, sir. Take care of that body, okay? Yes, sir. All right. Thank you, sir. Thanks for coming on the show. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Well, folks, that's Frazier, man. I mean, man. I, yeah. I, I tell you right now, you know, when you have a mother – that's as raised and done a good job with you and, 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 you know, kept her finger on this young man. And she's done a great job. Miss Frazier, if you watch this show, man, you, you be proud of yourself, which you, which you've taught your son, because you have an amazing young man. Not man. only if he don't make it in football, but he's going to make it in life because I'm and that's you, all that matters. That's it. Yeah. That, you know, going back to his, his mom, man, you and I can relate to this. Yes, sir. They don't get enough credit. They don't. I love my mama. She called me. I, I ain't been to church, but she called me. I love her, man. I do, man. I mean, I'm a 50 year old man, man, and my mama, man. I mean, we're, we're like best friends. Uh, you know, she had me at a young age, and she's done a great job with me, Jonah and Jerry, man. I mean, I can't. I know sometimes I can be a knucklehead, and I know sometimes I get on people's nerves. But at the end of the day, my mama's done a good job. You know, she kept me off the street. She kept me out of jail. She's done a great job. You know, so I, I love my mama. I know all three of us up here love yep, our yep, mama because yep. yeah, all absolutely. of us are mama boys. And <laughs> sometimes mm-hmm. I get mad at Day. Proud of it. They're yeah. mama boys, but you. But know, look at Day Day. They a career man. man. He, hey, <laughs> future husband, y'all better go get him. I mean, from grilling to cooking to Queen. fixing things to, man. That is a good guy. He's a good <laughs> man. But, folks, we're not done yet because, hey, we're just getting this show heated up because we yeah. got another great uh, guest that's about to come on all the way from Lefty. Muskogee. Muskogee, Oklahoma. Yes. Home of the what? Ruffers. Ruffers. Roughnecks. Make sure you play that song. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I love, I love me some DMX, man. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, rest in peace, yeah, rest Man. in peace, DMA. But uh, yeah, we'll be right back with the Muskogee quarterback after one of these sponsors on Keep It One Hundred Oklahoma, Oklahoma High, High School, School Sports. With twenty-five years' experience in the industry, Linex Customs OKC is your one-stop shop for all your vehicle accessory needs. Specializing in spray-in liners, lifts, levels, wheels, tires, bed covers, and anything else you need to make your ride look and sound better. 
Call Eric and the boys at 405-778-8878. Welcome back to Keep It 100 Oklahoma High School Sports. And on the phone, we have the outstanding Muskogee quarterback, Jamarion Flickland. How are you doing this evening? I'm doing good. Doing good. That's good hey, stuff. that's what I like to hear. So, um, but yeah, I'm going to let uh, Tony take it over from here. I know he's got some questions for you, so uh, you can go ahead, Tony. Well, you know what? It's the funny thing is, you know, we, we, we started kind of get to know your name. Last year, you started as a true freshman, right, for the Muskogee uh, uh, Ruffers. And so now <laughs> going into your sophomore year, you're starting to open up some eyes and people starting to figure out who is this young man, this young lefty that can throw the mm-hmm. ball right down the field. Uh, that's a general for the team. I got to listen to your coach uh, do a little speech about your game. And, you know, and one thing that I that he said that I want I want you to talk about because my daughter has this problem. You know, he says, when you make a mistake, you don't carry it on your shoulder and, and you don't let nobody see it. You fix a mistake in the game. And I, I, to me, that's a leader. That's what a quarterback's all about. My daughter plays basketball. She might miss one jump shot. And guess what? It's on her face. She's like, down. And I said, you can't. When you show those kind of motion on your face, people's going to attack you. It's like a shark in the water. And so tell me a little bit about, you know, you growing up being a QB. Yeah. Growing up to be a QB, um, I had to learn to put stuff behind me after a mistake. I knew if I would carry it, it would make uh, my game worse, my mind worse. Um, it really, really pushed me to be what I need to be and what I uh, am seen to be. Um, I knew it was going to help hurt me during the long run throughout. So I had to learn how to put myself through things and uh, put everything behind me when I'm uh, making a mistake. That's big. That's big time. So, you know, starting your career, you know, Muskogee kind of struggled last year. And this year you guys are off to a 2-0 uh, start. What, what was y'all's record last year? Uh, our record was two and eight. Two and eight. So you know, coming off you know last year, you've already won. You've already already accomplished your your goal from last year, winning two ball games already. So I mean, what was it like? So what's the difference between last year's team and this year's team? Uh, last year's team was more of a negative team, not much positive uh, going through through everybody's mind. So knowing through this year, we'd have to keep a positive mindset through our coaches, helping us keep that positive mindset. For me to keep pushing my team to be positive instead of the negative, um, we learned from our mistakes from last year. Kept watching film. Uh, one thing we learned to do is actually build on things that we uh, were bad on. Um, we really started working more, pushing ourselves more, pushing each other, uh, building great relationships with each other, and actually like being there for each other. That's big time. So you know, you talk like going into your sophomore year. You've already put up some big numbers. The first game, what was your passing stats and your your, your rushing stat? And then your second game, I think you put over 300-some yards. So uh, what was your passing the first game? First game, I think, was I think it was 13 for 22 with 250, yeah. And then the last game, you just put up 300 yards? Yes, sir. And so, you know, you got a big-time game coming this week. You go, you know, take the – is that I thirty five RT? Because I'm not really good on that. Uh, to, uh, to to call out or what, what? From what? Muskogee? Yeah, from Muskogee. I, no, it's forty. They take. Uh, I forgot the highway, but they take that to forty, and forty is straight to uh, Carl Albert. Yeah, so this weekend you coming into Carl Albert Town, you know, a team that's prior at five A, and uh, I don't know if you guys have ever played them ever. So I don't I don't know that much about the history of Carl Albert in, Mus- in Muskogee, but you get to come down and play a good. They played them last year in the I think it was at Jinx previews or something. Okay, like yeah, that. yeah. But uh, but it, I mean previews ain't hey, that, that's a preview. You talking about a real game right now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You talking about a real game? So you know what what's it going to be like facing a good powerhouse five A team like Carl Albert? Uh, we know we're going to have to uh, knowing they have a strong running quarterback. I mean running back. We know we're going to stack the box more to uh, stop him. And as we stop him, we're going to progress through it. Uh, our offense is going to push through like we always do. Uh, get through our ups and downs, but we're actually going to get out there and do our work. So, I mean, how do you feel like, you know, they got one of the hardest hitting safeties in the game, you know? Um, you know, we put something up, you know, Friday night. He had a hit against uh, the Memphis City Bombers. I think the guy got over 300 views. Uh, a, a young man that had come up and hit you is already committed to Iowa, Iowa State. State. So, uh, yeah. you know, what's, what's, you know, what's your progressive, you know, seeing him and, you know, uh, they got a pretty decent secondary and it seemed like you like to throw the ball. You know, what do you think it's going to take for you to, you know, for you to get your receivers open and then hit everything on a pinpoint? Um, yeah, seeing that, I know he is going to be one of the, uh, best safeties I'm going to play this year. 
Um, but that's not going to stop me from playing my game and my team playing their game. Mm-hmm. Um, we're really going to work on it. Uh, we're going to find a way to beat him, beat the team, and really work on it. That's Do it. Stuff. So, y'all got any questions for yeah, so I mean, uh, you know, Tony touched on this a minute ago, but you know, you're coming off uh, a record last year that I know a lot of y'all probably aren't proud of, but um, you know, and you you're already turning that around this year. Uh, you know, starting off two and zero, you had a tight one against Enid week one, and then last week, uh, pretty handedly uh, taking on man, who who did y'all play last week? Uh, it was Put- Put- Putnam City. Putnam City, that's right. So, uh, you know. Uh, you know, talk about some of the guys that you have around you that are helping making these plays this week, or, or that have been helping you make plays this season. So, uh, some of your receivers and your running back, and talk about the big guys up front as well. Um, one of my star receivers will be Jaden Bell and Katie McGee, my two outside. I also have two playmakers uh, on the ins- inside of the slots, Andre Beasley and uh, Anthony Watson. I still have two powerhouse running backs, a senior and a sophomore. Mm-hmm. One of the hardest running backs you will see coming out of Oklahoma, um, Latavion Johnson yeah. and uh, Brandon Tolbert. Yeah. Uh, for my linemen, ooh, all five can actually work, get down and do what they need to. Okay, okay. Uh, center, Braden Henry. Right guard will be uh, Vernon Pepiatica. Um, right tackle will be uh, Keon Brewer. Left guard is going to be Jace Garrett. And my left tackle will be um, Wesley. But Jaden Wesley six seven, so is that, kinda is that hard what, what number is he? Him. What number is he? Fifty seven. So who's number sixty five? Number sixty five is uh. Man. Ooh, who is he falls? Well, we we got a, we caught a little video of one of your guys blocking for you, man. And I mean, he was just going downfield, just I mean, giving people the business, man. And that's why I told people, man, you know, Burning. um, there's a guy, Coach Cole, over at uh, over at uh, Bigsby. You know, he kind of talked about you know you guys being a sleeper, and, and, and you know, and I was like, man, I don't know, man. They went you know two and eight, and and not on the map. But he said, man, watch out for Muskogee, man. They got some players, and 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 your coach is he is he a first year coach? Is he a second? Is he a second year? Nah, he's been in the uh, business for a while now. But I'm talking Coming about coach me as a head coach, though. Has he been? How long has he been a head coach at Muskogee? Uh, his second year now. Yeah, so I mean, I think he's kind of got this turned around a little bit. You know, I mean, like I said, watching his interview, you could tell he's upbeat about this team. But you know, you just name some. I mean, when a QB can name all his his starters from from right guard to left guard yeah. to center. I mean, it's running you, backs, you, everything. Yeah, that's it. I mean, you're just a sophomore, a young man. So leader. It's, it, that's yeah. it. You're the leader of this team, though. So. Uh, I'm excited. Me and Archie's going to make that game. You know, we kind of made that decision. We was going to go watch that Midwest City. Sorry, Coach Jones. We was going to watch that Midwest City, uh, Dell City game. But uh, I want to see you in person, man, and just kind of see what Because, like I said, uh, I know you trained with uh, Restman and with, you know, with uh, uh, Steel from uh, from Choctaw. And I know his dad was on our show a couple weeks ago, man, and, and he talked highly of you. Mm-hmm. saying you're the, you're the future of Oklahoma. So, I mean, when you got a guy like that with his son being, you know, um, um, Still, um, you guys both work out together. It mm-hmm. just kind of tells you what what type of QB you are because he talks highly of you big mm-hmm. time. So, you know, um, I told you, you know, and I kind of, you know, when I, when I sent you a text, uh, I, I got to ask you, what what's your favorite meal? You said my favorite meal? Yeah, your favorite meal. My favorite meal is going to be throw some spaghetti on there. Huh. Did you put huh. sugar on it? Yep. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. People look at me like I'm weird, but I put a little bit of uh, sweet law on my on my spaghetti. Yeah. My mama started doing that for me, man. And yeah. My wife thinks I'm weird, but she does it now. She knows man. how I want it. I but never heard of it. I'm going to try that. Oh, stuff, yeah. You missing hey, out. Hey, you missing right. out. I have to hey, try it. Tell me. You missing out. <laughs> so so tell, me a, t- tell me a little bit, you know, I mean, a little bit about yourself because you're a three-sport athlete, man, and, you know, you, you play, what, basketball? <clears throat> uh, you play baseball. You, you play center field and baseball. And then you yeah. you, know, you play football. So, what is your favorite sport? Uh, my favorite sport would be um, football. People always told me though, baseball was one of my best sports when I was younger. Uh, one of the sports I'll be seen in, and uh, that I should really stick to. But knowing in my freshman year, my arm wasn't as powerful; it could take as many throws as it needed to. So, I took a year off of baseball in order to get my arm stronger. That's but it, for my man. sophomore year, I might have to come back for baseball. Okay. 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 
So are you getting any looks right now in the, in the recruiting? I know you're just a young sophomore, but are you getting any looks right <clears> now? Is anybody kind of knocking on the door, uh, starting to figure out who this young man is from Muskogee that's, that's, that's doing his thing? Yes, sir. I have two offers right now. Uh, FAMU and uh, Grambling. Okay. Right. Okay. Hey, you, hey, you didn't tell Dion. Hey, you didn't tell Dion. Hey, Jackson State. We've been on Jackson State, man. We had a young man on before you, man. And I'll tell you, I feel in love with Jackson State, man, just because what <laughs> Dion has done to that, to that, to that mm-hmm. conference and bringing it up. You know, seeing them playing on ESPN now and, and seeing what the the recognition that that conference deserved. But I, I tell you though, man, that's good stuff that you're holding two offers because by the time you graduate from college, I mean high school, you're gonna probably have about twenty offers because I'm telling right. you, this weekend is a big test for you. Though. If you go out there and do some big things against mm-hmm. Carl Roberts' uh, defense, man, you, you're gonna be on the board. And like I said, uh, we're gonna try to get some good footage of you and and, and put something together. Uh, that's what we like to do for young men, man. You know, I, like I said, I'm excited for you in your future because like I said man being a three sport athlete that's tough to do but you know you made a great decision in saying hey my arm ain't strong so I'm going to take a year off and get it stronger mm-hmm. so you, you keep doing yourself out you know keep balling yourself out I will ask you though I know you're a left hand QB who do you kind of portray yourself you know I mean like out, 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 of, out of quarterbacks um more of a Michael Vick okay okay, okay. Okay. Uh, probably the best lefty to ever play, in my opinion. Man. Uh, man. Yeah, yeah. Steve Young was pretty good, though. You can't knock Steve Young. Oh, yeah, Steve Young. I forget Steve he was Young a lefty. Steve Young got a couple yeah. Super Bowl rings. Yeah. Vic don't. Well, it, if Michael Vick never gets in trouble, I think he goes on. He's probably one of the best quarterbacks of all time. Oh, he but, might. He might. He might. I mean, you know, but I'm saying you can't, you can't count out Steve Young. Y'all got yeah, any other questions, I hear you. So? No, I no. mean, I, I'm just excited to uh, meet this young man and watch him play. Yeah, yes, sir. But, you know, like I said, I mean, I appreciate you coming on the show, man. You know, like I said, you know, we – uh we want the best for you, man. And, you know, that's one thing about Keep It 100. We like to get young young men and women that's kind of – not saying you're flying under the radar because people are going to know who you are. But mm-hmm. I tell you, you know, once we, you know, start tweeting and, and, you know, getting your name out there, which I know is already out there, but, you know, people are going to be like, man, this kid is the real deal, you know. I mean, it's kind of like our RT put a five-minute little clip of uh, five – seconds, was it ten seconds of that hit on Tayshawn? And I'm telling you – it, yeah, it, it got it, over 3,000 over views. Over 3,000 views, man. In two and days. Know, that's it. So – you keep doing your thing, man. I know you come from a good family. I know, uh, you know, your mom keeps her finger on you. You can kind of tell that. But, you know, you keep doing what you're doing. And, you know, and, and hopefully Muskogee can find a way to win a uh, 6 a small championship. Mm-hmm. Guys, anything else when we wrap up? Uh, no, I'm good. We appreciate you coming on. Definitely. And, uh, yeah, good luck against uh, Carl Labbert this week. Thank you. Yeah, Thank, thank you for you. having me. Oh, no yeah, problem, sure. man. You take care. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Folks, that's the young. Man. I tell you, we had two great young men on man. today, man. And yeah. and I, you got to, hey, hey, we got to clap real quick. I mean, come yeah. on. Yeah. We got to clap. These two mothers and fathers, okay. if they if they both have fathers, I don't know. I know I know they both got mothers because, I mean, they're, they're, they're involved in their kids' right. life. But I, I tell you, these moms have done a great job with yes. these young men as far as raising them and becoming great young men. You know, I know Coach Jones talks about this all the time about, you know, Dell City. Sometimes you get a stereotype because your hair might be twisted. Your hair might have – you might have a fro. You might have whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes people judge the book before they read it. Mm-hmm. And sometimes you need to read the book <sighs> before you start judging the person right. because I, I know – I mean, I know people like to say, oh, this person's that, this person's that. But you, you could tell this young man and Fraser both has been raised by some good some good yeah. parents, mm-hmm. you know, and, and got these kids talk. I mean, a great talker. Yeah. I mean, this guy, I mean, he, he talk, he's a, a 15, 16-year-old young man talking, I mean, talking like he's ready. Yeah, he's ready. He's ready. Yeah. And, and I tell you, man, I mean, um, me and RT, uh, we're going to go catch that game, you know. Uh, you know, granted, we was planning on going to that Midwest Dell City game, but I just think this is going to be a good game, a big test for both teams, you know. Mm-hmm. One team comes in at 2-0, and and the other team comes in at, one and one. you know, 1-1. One and, you know, um, I think Carl Albert got some things going now. You know, mm-hmm. um, you know, I know their Q- QB went down, and they're going with the uh, junior right now as in uh, uh, Cash. Cash. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I know he didn't have the best game Friday night, but, you know, when you got a tailback that can run the ball 30, 40 times Man. a game and get over, you know, 300-some yards, you know, four TDs, uh, you, don't, you don't have to throw the ball, you right. know. I mean, you can save that on for for another day. But I think this week you're going to get some, some a little bit better athletes. mix it up. Not, not saying Middle City ain't got the athletes. Middle City's real Middle young. Middle City's real young. They're young. Yeah. They got 45 sophomores. So uh, uh, I think DJ did put on the show and let people know he, yeah. he is the real deal. Mm-hmm. Uh, hopefully he can go on and, and pick a college because, like I said earlier, uh, these kids are getting hurt left and right. Mm-hmm. So go on, hey, go on get these – Hey, go on, hey, hey, I'm going to go here in case you right. do get hurt because sometimes you get hurt. Hey, these these teams are back away from you. They'll they, they go look for the next guy because, mm-hmm. you know, they don't want you on their rehab program. I mean, Not only that, it's a business. It's a business. 
Just mm-hmm. business. But what else we want to get into? Because, I, mean, I know we we trying to stay on time and yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do we want to get into some of this week's games real quick, or what do we? What do man, we you got to get into these games, yeah. man. I mean, because I mean, let's, let's, let's pick some of the power. The, the, the we got some. Of, we got some good. We got, Jinx and Union. Yeah, we got some good games this week. So yeah, let's just let's go through and pick our top three games from each class. I got Squirtle pulled up. Shout out to Squirtle mm-hmm. for uh, having all this readily yep. available for everybody. So uh, so yeah, no, number one, I think the best game this week's got to be Jinx versus Union. Uh, it, and, in the 6A1 class, uh, two powerhouses in the state of Oklahoma up in that, Tol- in that Tulsa area. And, uh, you know, they're playing, they'll be playing at Jinx or at Union, sorry. And, uh, you know, after seeing Jinx kind of struggle the first two games mm-hmm. and Union kind of, you know, handedly handling their opponents, I think mm-hmm. I gotta pick Union to win this one. Yeah, Union's gonna be, it, it's gonna be a blow away. We're not even gonna spend no. that much time on this game. I mean, <laughs> Union is the real deal in, in, in 6A. Big, it's gonna be them and and, and uh, Bigsby playing for a state championship. Uh, I mean, just right now, everybody else is trying to get in. Those two, are the front runners. I mean, Jinx went down and played uh, you know, Evan Santa Fe. They got beat by a smaller six eighteen. Um, you know, so it's kind of tells you is 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 Jinx really that good, or they just look good because of the, they got ninety nine thousand kids out. Uh, I'm, I'm just keeping it real, but yeah. I, I tell you real quick, uh, real quick, we're gonna jump on that more Norman. Uh, coach Brian is sitting right now at two and zero. Oh. Oh, yeah. I think he's gonna get a great his third way to start win. a head coach. Yes, career. Uh, yeah, I mean you can't. Hey, I love to they get him on the show. They started that way last year, uh, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, they did, and they fell off, but they got a new a new man at the helm now. You got a yeah. new driver. Okay. You know he gonna he gonna keep driving this Cadillac. You know? All right. He took Chata to a you know a, a state championship and. You know when they when they play against Bigsby, his defense did a great job of slowing down Presley. Mm-hmm. So uh, I think once he kind of gets you know rocking and rolling over there, Moore's going to be a you know a powerhouse. We're going to try to make that more Westmore game mean more you. war, more war. So uh, uh, you're looking at Edmond, Santa Fe, and Norman. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Santa Fe. All right. Uh, then you got uh, Deer Creek at Mustang. I mm. think this will be a pretty good game. Mm. Uh, so, hey, we're gonna find out who. Hey, we're yeah. gonna find out who's for real. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you get a kid all the way from Hoover, Alabama, to come to to Deer Creek, man. Woo. I yeah. mean, you, he skipped over a bunch of schools. I ain't saying nothing. I'm just keeping it 100. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I ain't saying nothing. I'm just keeping it 100 because I'm telling you, if I move from Hoover, Alabama, I don't know if I'm gonna move to Deer Creek. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think I think I'm gonna have to pick. I think I'm going to have to go with Mustang. I'm going to have to show some love to I'm my guy that's committed Creek. to OU. I'm going to go with Mustang. I'm going to go with Deer Creek. Hey, let's, right. let's, let's do it. Right. Let's do it. I'm, what, I'm, about, I'm, what, about, what about Bixby and Sand Springs? Bixby and Sand Springs? Bixby. Bixby. Ain't nobody no snowing Bixby. Bixby. No ain't no upset. Okay. What about Chautau Westmore? Choctaw, no, West, I, I mean, Choctaw. I mean, I'm sorry, Cody. But time out, time out. Time out, time out. You said Steel might be down the game. Yeah, there's a chance that he is, but I think they got enough. I think they got enough playmakers. But time out, time out. Get a TV timeout right here. You can't say they have enough because this kid that you put in cash, not taking that from cash room, he's, he got offered to OU to play baseball. But man, still, man, and when we went back and watched a little bit of film, the kid, how he slides up in there mm-hmm. and slide out. Oh, he's the real I mean, deal, that's, man. That's, I'm that's, telling that's, you. That's a whole yeah. new, Cash ain't going to be the slide like that. Still is slick, man. It'll be a different game plan. I'm pretty game. sure the coaches yeah. will. I mean, put a gonna, game plan together that fits better for Cash. Yeah, because you're gonna you're gonna they're gonna lean on they're gonna lean on Latrell a little bit more this game. Yeah, I think which is good. Uh, absolutely, yeah. Latrell, he's a playmaker. I mean, you see him; he can bounce it outside, get but up I, the field, no. he can break tackles. I mean, I think he's a talented kid. But I'm just saying, still makes plays happen, man. I mean, a lot of the plays, yeah. the touchdowns they had the other night, are big plays that he he hit Jack Smith on the you know double move, man. Man, man. what a route that, that was! That was him. nasty. That was wasn't nasty. It? Yeah, man, that they, hey, double they, move. They sleeping on that boy. They yeah. sleeping yeah. on that Jack. Hey, they sleeping. He's got good size coaches. Go get him. Coaches, go get him. Yeah, as though we do. I mean, Ivy, I like that. I mean, they sleeping on the young man. Go get that boy. That boy can play. Mm-hmm. Hey, he gonna help you. Special teams. Somebody go get him. That, 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 those coaches out there are really good about uh, getting those kids recruited. That's one thing that I can say for sure about Choctaw. They're gonna put you in a position to get you that offer, and that's mm-hmm. why a lot of people are attracted to that program. Um, because, you know, some are stuck in the old school days where they basically say if they want you, they'll come get you. But these guys make it their uh, make it their priority to make sure that you are getting the exposure needed to yes, sir. get that out. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, absolutely. Let's move on to uh, 5A. Uh, what about we're not going to do 6A small? 6 days small. I mean, there's kinda, a, it was all mixed. Yeah, in. it's all mixed in there. So I mean, so yeah, we'll move on to. My fault, my fault, baby. No, you're good. Let's move on to 5A. Uh, you got Dell City and Midwest City. Man, um, I love I, you, Coach Hall, but you got to be on too. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I, I'd have to agree. I Coach, think Dell City gets Coach that Coach Jones win. can pick his score. I mean, he really yeah. and, and Coach Jones is a respectful guy, so I don't think 
uh, having a respect for Coach Hall. Not taking that from Coach Hall. He got a young team. He got an outstanding Very quarterback. But he just have a young team. I, I did see some some bright future. Uh, I think the number three young man. I don't know all these guys' names. I don't have a roster front. I think number three and number seventeen at the receiver position for two good kids in the future that's going to be good for Midwest mm-hmm. City. Uh, I think they got a backup quarterback. Oh they yeah, say he sophomore. Can sling, oh, he, he can go. They say he can sling the ball. So uh, the bright the future is bright for the Midwest City Bombers. Yeah. Don't sleep on them right now. They might not make the playoff again, but they will should make a run and, and, and get in the playoff. But I tell you, me and our team been kind of doing this playoff bracket, you know, already because you know. If some teams lose some games, man, you got some tough matchups. Man. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Carl Arbor could play Dell City in the first round if they lose the big second big, round. I'm mean, second. I'm sorry, second round if they to lose to uh, Bishop McGinnis or, or Guthrie. I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, that's a that's a tough second round game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hey, sure. hey, because you still got two more rounds to get there. Yeah, right. So yeah, what, what else game are you looking at, Biggie? Uh, there's a lot of good games in five A this week. You got. Um, Bishop Kelly and Bishop McGinnis. Bishop McKinnis. Kelly and Bishop hey, McGinnis, Battle McGinnis of the Bishops. Hey, hey, I, Bishop Kelly. McGinnis looks good this year. Hey. I, I'm going to have to pick Bishop McGinnis. Yeah, that, ain't, that ain't even a no. – I mean, I'm, I'm not even going to say that because I want to think I'm being – And we've mean. already talked about Muskogee and Carl Albert. Yeah. But, uh, I, mean, what, what, another, so, I mean, we talk about that game real quick, but who y'all think get, gets the win? I think Muskogee gets it. I haven't seen mm-hmm. Muskogee play this year. I did see him last year, and then like he um, – the uh, QB said that they got a running back that run downhill after watching Carl Lauber for the first time this year in person. I've seen that uh, X Rob. I, I, I seen what I already knew what X Rob can do. Um, you get it. I'm sorry. And but you're gonna. Uh, I, I believe Carl Lauber will need to do more than just hand it off yeah. to uh, just him. And I know Cash can throw the ball. Haven't seen it just yet downfield. You know those little short passes. Just about anyone can throw that throw the ball like that. But and see that's what made Reed so valuable. Um, all the running responsibility was just not on the running back. And yeah. then when you got a running back, you're running him, you're running him, you're running him. He get tired, start cramping. And then I, I pray that he stays healthy for the entire year because he's a great kid. But you're going to need more than just that run game. And you saw this, you know, watching the game Friday night, he didn't play no defense at all, you know. So. Right. So that, that that's that's saving them legs and saving yeah. them hits. So uh, and they switched it up a little bit. I seen they went from five two to four three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, Colorado is a great team. They're always going to put stuff together. You know, Coach Dunn and At Coach the Corley. End of the year, they're uh, always you know, strong they, and ready. They, they, you see, Coach Cameron are doing this thing, man. You know, uh, uh, you know that staff is a great staff. I know they might not like some of the things that we say, but you know, it's called keep it one hundred. But Coach Dunn, I know at the end of the day, I've known you since you was a nine year old little young man playing for the Dell City Dodgers. My and my little team beat you. We did, and uh, that's what we do. We beat people over here when you play for Coach Johnson. But I'm saying though, I, I think I think Carl Albert, you know, it's going to be a tough test. And after that, they'll have some cup, some cupcake games, and then right. they'll get into that, uh, you know, that 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 that, that Bishop that Bishop McGinnis and Guthrie game. It's, it's going to be two tough games. It's going to be two tough games. Absolutely. Five A's. I mean, it's wide open. I mean, good as Dale City look. Uh, you know, I mean, hey, they're one injury away for somebody going down. Yeah. I think, uh, you know, I talked to Coach Jones this morning. You know, we pretty speak, talk every day. I, I treat him like a little brother, man. I told him, you got to get that, you got to get that offensive line straight. You get that line straight, boy, it's going to be hard to touch them, boy. Well, let me that, tell that, you, though, Dale City has some athletes, and uh, check out that sophomore, number Ooh, 12. Oh, I already told him. McCallister. Hey, McCallister, I told Jones this morning, and he can tell I you. I told he you called last me. week. I told Jones this morning, and I said, hey, that's your next big D one prospect, man. I'm telling you, the that whole kid, family, man. Hey, that kid can go number twelve. I'm telling you, he, hey, he draw back in coverage. I mean, I'm talking about this kid's a sophomore. Yeah, he doing things that you know. He's always th- played up like in little league, man. This always. kid can go, man. McAllister, you watching the show, man? Shout out to you because I'm telling you, you the next big thing at Dell City High School. And we were talking about great moms. Yeah, his mom is awesome, superwoman. Man, that's weird. we got some good moms out there. I mean, yeah. you feel like it's Mother's Day. Yeah, yeah. gotta give them their roses while they're here. Yeah, Absolutely, give it to him. Give it to him. But, uh, so yeah, moving on. Another game that I would like to highlight in 5A is Ada and McAllister. Ada coming off a big Ooh. win last week. Um, Ada. They, yeah, Ada, they were, they were able to no. knock off Ardmore. <laughs> no. Would you say so, no? You, you think McAllister's going to ha- handle it? Okay. Wait, 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 wait. McAllister against Ada. Yeah. Ada. Ada is very, very young, also. Oh, okay. I just thought, I saw Ada, they, they whooped Ardmore last week. Whooped them. Hey, so, a team you got to keep your eye on. They're not putting up they, a lot they of. They could, they could come up there and sneak. I don't know. A team you got to keep your eye on. That's not putting up a lot of big numbers, but you got to keep your eye on Noble because Noble's always going to be big. Yeah, I was about they to say be, that Noble gotta, a Tuttle game. That might gonna be. be a, a game. It's going to be a big test. You're going to yeah. find out what Noble's all about this week. You know, going to Tuttle. I uh, know it's not too far, but you're going to be a bunch of bunch of corn fred big boys going against each other. So uh, it's going to be a smash mouth football. But I mean, keep your eye on that Noble. If, if Noble can go knock off Tuttle. 
uh, defending state champion from last year in, in 4A. Um, you're going to find out what, 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 what Noble's all about. Uh, Lod, Lod Mack and Lawton, uh, I know Lawton got Cameron a win. Cameron Stadium's um, going to be packed. Uh, I know Lawton got their first win, but MacArthur's supposed to be one of those teams that you gotta, you gotta kinda keep around in 5A mm-hmm. because if you, if you get your kids, you know, if you get caught slipping, that can be a team that can knock you off though. So keep your eye on that stuff right there, man. So, uh, like I said, a bunch of good, I mean, wish we can get to every game and talk about them. Nah, we'll be here all night. So let's move on to, uh, 4A. All right. Moving right along to 4A. What did I do? Did I do something wrong? My no, 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 you're good. No. So moving on to <laughs> his scouting reporting. <laughs> yeah. So uh, oh, moving on, say, moving on to four A, we got. Uh, let's see. Man, I, I had to answer a text, so I was getting back. Got me sidetracked. You got. Uh, Boom. Yeah, Clinton and Heritage Hall. That was yeah. the one that I was trying to look for. So uh, that'll be a pretty good game. Hey, Clinton, Clinton coming off a loss last Ooh, week, but who beat up on Clinton? It was uh, it was uh, it was McGinnis, yeah, Bishop McGinnis. Hey, McGinnis is so. a real deal in five A, man. I mean, they got they got a good quarterback, Taffy, man, boy. Quit quit playing around. We got we got we got big time players want to come on the show and talk. That's all right. We 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 capture them. Okay, we 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 will be at the Carl Albert McGinnis game. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. Uh, um, so I think, man, that's a tough game to pick right there. Um, you know, early in the season, you haven't really been able to see a lot of you what. Gotta, you got to go with Harry and Charles, man. I mean, yeah, 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 I'm going I mean, with the you hall. You got to go with the hall, man. I mean, they're putting right. kids at OU doing things, man. That's true. So, uh, I'll just tell you right now. E, I know I'm going to jump subject real quick, but what's the big young man that played at Deer Creek last year and went to OU? Sexton. Uh, Sexton. Is, is, are Sexton. they red shirting him? Because uh, he didn't get no game yesterday. I didn't they might have, they might have red shirted him. Okay, okay. Uh, but I mean, he's super talented. I, I mean, think they got some monsters. If you red shirt him. Yeah. Hey, they got the kid that came out of Westmore, uh, the big wrestler kid, uh, Bray, Bray, Bray Walker. Yeah, Bray Walker. He ain't touched the field. That's yeah. what, that's what I'm talking about. For find a school that fits you. Right. Yeah. I mean, Bray. I mean, granted, you want to play football? Go go play at UCO. Yeah. Well, I mean, you got <clears throat> uh, the offensive line. Uh, they're more experienced this year, man. You got me all sidetracked talking about OU again, but you got you got Andrew Ram at center. He's a guy from Broken Arrow. He's just uh, the what freshman red shirt. Uh, I think he's sophomore. He's sophomore. Maybe yeah. I mean, he's gonna be there two more years. Yeah, so I mean, o- OU's offensive line's looking pretty good, they, and then they, the guys that are coming up are they look good. They look so. good. Uh, but anyways, back to four A. Uh, another game, uh, Metro Christian at Poto. Uh, that should be a pretty good one right there. I think Poto's I'm gonna have to top, take Poto. Yeah, so. Poto's a top five team. You know, yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, this is a team that kind of uh, Tahlequah and Wagner. Uh, Wagner got a win last week, man. I mean, they're a good. Man, I, I think Wagner's going to win that game. No, I'm just saying that the games that you know you that, that stick out to you. I will say, man, I I'm, I hope my man, uh, uh, Coach uh, Starter uh, Starter can get a win, man. He's sitting at 0 and 2 right now. He got Mainsford. Uh, they're they're 0 and 1. So one of them is going to get a win this week, man, because he's a great offensive mind coach. But it seems like right now his team is struggling. So uh, hopefully he can get it going. Yeah, for sure. Moving on to 3A. Uh, you got Lincoln Christian at Vian. That should be a pretty good one right there. But, I mean, I think Lincoln Christian is going to be able to handle business over there. So. They just beat up on Jones, didn't they? Yeah. Beat the brakes off. Yeah, yeah, they did. I'm just telling you, Jones, you better, hey, you, hey, yeah. you, lose, you lose that great coach. You up there at Texas, Texas Tech. Texas Tech. Tech, Tech was it, how, how they do how they do they little. I don't even know. I think, I think they, so like OSU, they go like this. And then at Texas Tech, they go like this. Okay. That little, hey, but he, and that's hey, how they do it. They win last night. You paying attention, huh? Uh, Hago? Yeah, I mean, that's what Hago? What? Hago doing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <it's, laughs> oh, I see what you're trying to do now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Got him. I'm going to have to edit that out of the show. I can't have <laughs> No, but... Uh, yeah, uh, let's continue on in this three. You got Casha Hall at Berry Hill. I think Casha Hall is going to be able to win that one. Uh, but it should be a pretty tight game. Um and then I think that's all for 3A, and then we'll uh, highlight some. Uh, Cushing's a team that you know you got to keep your eye on, old man. I mean, a, a, oh, a yeah, little team sure. that I think everybody thought he was going to win it last year, but keep your eye on Cushing. Uh, they play Perkins. Uh, you know, I think Cushing to get the win, but you know when you start getting into those uh, those those little smaller towns, man, there's like ninety some games on here. Yeah, yeah. but uh, yeah, I think. Uh, Here's a game that should be pretty good in two A. You got Bethel at McLeod. I mean, I was able to go out and watch McLeod. They look pretty good last week, and then we uh. Hey, hey you know, Coach Bethel. King, go get that win. Go have that. We, man, we should have had his hand on the table. We should have. <laughs> Coach King, go get that win. Yeah, for sure. McLeod sitting uh, on cloud nine, though. I'm telling you right now, man. McLeod sitting on cloud nine. That big win over here. That's a Absolutely. big time win for yeah. those guys, man. Big yeah, time. it is. It definitely is. And then uh, let's see what other games we got. Um, there's just so many to look through here. Uh, there's Millwood at Douglas. Um, 
that should be a pretty decent game right there. And then you got uh, Millwood at Douglas. Yep, Millwood. Sobo. Sobo. Yep. And then you uh, spread it on Saturday. You don't do it no more. It's not bad that game. Oh, here you long. go. This is probably the game of week in two. You got Begs at Rejoice Christian, the two hey, versus man, number Beggs. three seed. Yeah, Begs looks pretty Beggs good. Should go, man. They got yeah. a, they got a kid that was on there for uh, mm-hmm. you know it, it had a big game, so they got a good defensive tackle too. So uh, Begs one of those teams, man. You can't sleep on though. So uh, moving mm-hmm. on to two A. That that was two A. Um, that was that was two A. I mean, yep. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm looking at uh, Stroud and Chandler. Oh, okay. Uh, but that should both, be a pretty good one too. Yeah, I mean that's that's right down. Uh, what you call that? The uh, block down the street. I mean they're right down the street from each other. So yeah. uh, that should be a great game. Um, Who else you got? You got Hinton. Yeah, Hinton and Hennessy. Yeah. So that should be a pretty good one too. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, Really, that might be all the games mm. worth highlighting this week. A Crossings Christian versus Community Christian, that's a pretty good game right there. Um, that would be pretty decent. Like so, I said, it's just so many there's games. There's so many games. There really is. So, uh, But, yeah, I think that's going to do it for me at least, unless if you all see any other games that you want to no. highlight. No, I, so. I'll tell you, though, man, I'm, 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 like I said, I'm excited about the two guests we had on today, yep. uh, two great young men. Mm-hmm. Uh, both they, I hope both find their, their passion of schools they want to go to, and whoever gets those young men is going to get two great athletes that's not going to worry about are they going to be troublemakers in your, on, on your campus ground. I think uh, they both going to do great things for the college, for themselves, and then and for the future, though. So uh, it's one thing about keeping 100, man. You know, I wanted to tell that young man, um, you know, especially Frazier, man, going into your senior year, you know, fill out for our application for a scholarship because I, I think he'll be a good – a good young man to, mm-hmm. to fill out, you know, for the scholarship. And we're going to do same the conditions that we did last year of, uh, of doing that. As we get closer to giving it out, mm-hmm. we would we would put those out for people to see it. But I tell you, another great show, man. You know, we yes. talk high school football. Uh, you know, some great matches coming in week, you know, week two, and we're just now getting it cooking. When wait till district started, it gets even better. Oh yeah, um, it's been some great, great none, none, none district games, man. Mm-hmm. Really has. But yeah, like I said. Uh, Guys, you know, keep your eye on RT Bay. He's doing big work with that camera. Uh, he's bringing some good, super some talented, good, good footage. I know uh, he put that one out about the big hit the young man made, and I know a couple of people kind of took it and ran with it themselves. But uh, you know, that works. It's all love, all love. Uh, yeah, yeah. That, that comes from Mr. RT Sherman. So when a guy deserves the love, I'm gonna give him his love. Appreciate you. Know? you. Uh, yeah. Big E going out to the Harrow, um, you know, McLeod, McLeod. game. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, great, great atmosphere. Uh, like I said, we're going to... Got Day Day coming on. Got Day Day coming on. reach and, everyone. And we're, hey, we're going to touch yeah. everybody. Reach out and touch me. But <laughs> I, I, I tell you, though, um, I know we're ready to wrap this show up. My wife got that grill going. It's, it's cooking. It's smelling good. Yeah, I like to yeah. thank my baby. She out there cooking while I'm out here doing this show. Shout out to uh, Jessica. Jessica yeah. Johnson and Day Day, man. I know Gabe's mm-hmm. going to come over. Uh, he's going to try to wrestle at 157. He's probably going to, by the time he leaves this house, he's going to win by 180. But, uh, <laughs> you know, shout out to everybody, though, man, that's giving us love, tweets, uh, uh, you know, shout out to the uh, the Corbins man for giving us a little bit of love, man. And congratulations to their new baby mm-hmm. uh, boy. Uh, I know he's a proud father. Uh, like I said, uh, we'll be giving Tata much love that they need. Uh, you know, we won't try to crack no jokes on them because, like I said, it's all love, man. But yeah. you know, at the end of the day, this man coached my boys and. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to be great young men, not only as a, me as a father figure, but him as a father figure. And sometimes, you know, you got to be the bigger person. And I think uh, that's where we're at on this show, man. We all want to be uh, one team, one what? One dream. One dream. Yep. Like that. Building yeah. relationships. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what it's about. Anything yeah. else, folks? No. Nah, fellas, 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 fellas. Uh, just want to appreciate y'all that, that keep tuning in. Yes. And, uh, um interacting with us on twitter and youtube mm-hmm. you yes, know sir. we appreciate all the likes and comments and retweets i know uh when rt posted that video last week i mean it, it blew up had like 50 something likes and 20 something retweets so uh we appreciate really appreciate that support and i know rt appreciates it as yeah. well um but yeah just keep tuning in uh you know we're just getting started you know this season is just now getting started mm-hmm. i mean we're gonna keep bringing y'all uh some of the best coverage that we can of Oklahoma high school football, so uh, we appreciate that. Yep. Yeah, we, we yep. really do. I mean, he, he, he said it. Can't say you know better though. We, we thank <clears throat> everybody for like you know liking our stuff, and uh, like I said, we will be at a game, and I'm gonna try to get out fifty dollars. I will give out a fifty dollar gift certificate for you know we'll we'll do a drawing, and then whoever uh, sign up with you know our, our YouTube page mm-hmm. and then uh, our Twitter account, we'll have a little banner out. But uh, like I said, I thank everybody. For tuning in and catch that Coach Jones show, even though oh, you yeah. might not Absolutely. be a um, an Eagle play for Dell City or anything, but catch that Coach Jones show out, right. man. Uh, it's a great show. Uh, he gets to talk about his players, and you know, and 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 like I said, 
you know, the Coach Jones show is something that we would love to do with any team. So it ain't mm-hmm. got to just be Dell City. If you feel like your team is, you know, want to be that, I would love to do with Bethel, Hera, uh, any of these teams, though. So uh, we got we got actually three young men, and we got Day Day now. So uh, we appreciate you watching another great episode of what? Keeping it 100, Oklahoma, Oklahoma High, High School, School Sports. Sports. See you next See time. Yeah. Peace. I gotta keep it. One for one hundred. My men keep it. One for one hundred. My ladies keep it. One for one hundred. My people keep it. One for one hundred. 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 One for one hund